What's up, Warcraft Reloaded listeners? This is a little update here at the start of this episode. This episode was recorded in Seattle, and there were some technical difficulties. We started recording, and we were recording the video on my phone, and my phone filled up, and it just deleted the video. So the first part of the the episode has no video. This won't matter for the audio listeners, but I just thought I'd come here at the top of the show and let you know. I hope you still enjoy the show. I'm sure that and, uh, a lot of people would disagree and would be more leaning toward toward you, but I really like the I big think, conscious decision. Usually people think I have the worst takes on the podcast, so that's okay. Okay, well then but I'm okay. right. <laughs> Quote it. No, but... Welcome to Warcraft Reloaded, a podcast brought to you by Mash Those Buns, covering the world of Warcraft Classic and its community. I am Bobby, also known as Blazin' Bob, and today we're just going to start at the end. We have Mr. Soli, a.k.a. Soli. How are we all doing? Doing good. Were you asking all of us, or were you asking the audience? Because, well, we're not live. Let's wait for chat. <laughs> Let's wait for chat. <laughs> All right, and we are also joined by Mel, a.k.a. Mel Arena. How are you doing? I'm a little offended that I didn't get to go first. It's like I've been demoted because I <laughs> wasn't on the podcast for a couple of weeks. You just, like, cut me out completely. Well, I'm just trying to go in order. Just trying to go in I order. I mean, all Important, right. Apparently. Well, I'm apparently not doing very well, so <laughs> we'll move on. Well, we're also joined by Winky, a.k.a. Cal. What Hello. was that? I'm in the back because we don't have enough mics and we're, yeah. Well, we had to cut Doing somebody. Doing it live. And, Doing it live. You know? Tech in chat. <laughs> There's one no time chat, one time. time. F's yeah. in the chat, everybody. And live from Seattle. All right. And we're also don't joined by Jordy. What's up, guys? How are you? Jordy in his bushy uh, shirt here. It's beautiful. When in Seattle. <laughs> when in Rome. No, Might in well. Seattle. Yeah. It's, it's my good. White Lotus employee shirt, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and we're also joined by Oldie Black Smoke, a.k.a. Parker, the man behind a lot of hardcore events and a lot of things you probably don't even know. This man's amazing. How you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah, don't know it because, it, you know, I don't know, reasons. Good to be here. <laughs> good to have you all. All right, guys, this is going to be a very different episode from everything else. If you saw the TwitchCon episode from two years ago or a year and a half ago, it's very similar to that. We are just, there's no outline. We're on vacation. We're just going to kind of go off the cuff. But the episode, I'd like it to kind of focus on WoW Classic, where we have come from where we've been and where we are now and what the future might bring with so many different versions of of wow out i mean you have modern aka retail then you have era very rude hey i can say modern however i want to say modern sure <laughs> sure but then you have era you have era hardcore, you have the hardcore actual servers, you have, Sod. You have Sod, you have so many things Kata. to do. Kata too, yeah. Honestly, Shoot. for how involved I was in trying to get hardcore <laughs> servers, I totally <laughs> spaced that it even existed. That is Fail. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and there's a lot of people that still want to play by the old solo cell phone. There, there been a bit of a, there's been a bit of a resurgence back to using the add-on. Even wait, uh, isn't definitely. there solo cell phone or there, there is a cell phone server now? Yeah. yeah. So there's a cell phone buff that you can get on character creation now. I think it launched okay. in February. Or I want to say maybe January. Um, yeah. But they, the design decision from what I've heard from developers is that they didn't want 
uh, to restrict players from being able to group up. Sure. You know, you want it to, to feel like an MMO. Um, you know, but the idea that you can't trade, you can't use the auction house, the mailbox, uh, you know, really adds a lot to finding, uh, you know, that six slot baggie, finding that green item, uh, yes. that epic. Blessed run. Blessed runs. Exactly. Yeah. When you, when you get the, you know, not the curl blade, I always do that, but it's the, you know, the I mean, mini uh, curl yeah. blade from the, the uh, from, uh, from the Goonies ship. I always... Dead minds. Thrash blade. No, Trap no, no, no. He's talking about cruel barb. Cruel barb. Yeah. Sure. If well, you, you get cruel barb. Cruel barb as what a is thr thrash blade is Maradon. I'm sorry. That's awful. <laughs> you probably just got it because you're getting vacation that. brain, <laughs> guys. Vacation. When you're really lucky and you happen to, to do fair, like the I, biggest quest. I <laughs> gave in you zero information about it. I had a lot of sun today, so I'm a yeah. little yeah, a little loopy. We should actually. I should actually point that out, guys. I finally. Talked. We've been having too much fun, and there's been too much stuff to do, and we've had a great tour guide of Seattle. By the way, Seattle sucks. Nobody ever come here. True. But we've had an amazing time <laughs> yes. in this horrible place with an amazing <laughs> tour guide, and we're really tired. This is the last day, but we really wanted to record live because it's just a fun thing. So if we make a mistake, we don't have our, our PCs to check facts. Guys, this is just hanging out, talking about WoW. Classic WoW, when we started, what brought each of you back? Like, what brought each of you back to Classic? And uh, COVID. COVID. COVID was huge, <laughs> huge for Classic. Actually, ginormous. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I heard about it from my brother uh, in uh, spring of 2020. I hadn't uh, played video games since 2014. And I remembered leveling back in the day and was excited to relive the nostalgia. And then uh, and now I'm here. Time flies. I went back in for the nostalgia thing. I'd go to 40 and then started I told a podcast Bobby. and rated everything and beat everything until <laughs> Kata beat everything. I mean, even in... Wrath, I tanked as a warrior tank, and I tanked every hard, hard board in Old War. Like it was just it's in silly. the original or classic? No, classic. Okay. In the original, I was a rogue, and then oh, me too. I did not beat every hard mode. Only I did not you ever were beat a rogue. Me neither. Yeah, I was like eleven, so I definitely didn't uh, beat everything. <laughs> I feel well, like I don't. I struggled even to get to max anymore. level in time for the next X pack. <laughs> I feel I just, like I, I don't lived, know you anymore. The I lived in rogue. Battlegrounds. This is not. This is <laughs> not. I really love Battlegrounds. Of you were when it launched. Yeah, nineties right. baby. You know. I was five. What? Yeah. I'm kidding. Right. Yes, of course you were. <laughs> You're so five. Twenty-one. Did you not act that surprised? <laughs> <laughs> five is right. Yeah. Well, obviously, I can't believe it, you were five. Incredible, even incredible, Mel. Yeah. You yeah. are right, though. What a savant. <laughs> 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 I told Bobby when he said, do you want to play classic WoW? I said, there's Why? not a chance in hell. That game ruined my life once and it's not happening again. Look where you are now. Mm -hmm. In an Airbnb talking about it for I thought Mel always won. With and friends we would have never made if not true. coming back to classic but, WoW. And true, that's fair. true friends for, I mean, like even after we quit playing, like, yeah. True friends. Yeah. It's cool. Is that a thing? It's really Quitting cool. Quitting playing? Mm. No, I hate everyone. Nah. I tried to quit recently. It didn't really work out. Yeah, same. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, like and you came effort, back. Though. Yeah. No, me, me and Winky tried to quit too. You yeah. know, we we quit at the same time in February. Run away. For three months. Run away. Pulled back by the clutches of clutches era. of era deviant delight desperate house dads. Yeah. Parker was pissed. He was gonna miss a raid for. DKP yesterday. True, but we made <laughs> and, literally and an era raid for DKP. Was it worth it? I look. Okay, I don't get that. missing out on the DKP is fine because I'm joining Winky's beer league raid. Okay, uh, all right. So I'm more excited Ooh. for that than, yeah. than just so you know, DKP. Winky's but, beer league but raid I will only say lasts I'm about I'm very weeks. upset that I yeah. picked up Jordy from yeah. the airport in yeah. exchange for two world bosses. <laughs> okay. three and weeks, then they get very the then they get very drunk and then the beer league listen listen you have to know who you you are going to raid with if you raid with Winky or Scotty J, they're gonna bounce, yeah, you know, later, and that is okay. Yeah. That, like, that's what I did in Canada, that's and as okay. long as people understand that that's 
what you're going to do, no. then it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Thanks. All right, so back, back to the original hear, thing. I mean, I want to hear how, why, why oh, Bernie please. started. I thought we were going to go down the list. Of people yeah, yeah, okay. I uh, skipped. Really, only me. <laughs> yeah, just, 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 just me. I, I skipped Jordy. I Sorry. started day three of Classic. Um, I was watching Max play. They were like running Zulfarak to level, and I was like, oh, this looks really fun. And then I was like, should I play? And I had just quit smoking, so I was like, oh, perfect time. Really perfect yeah, time. I, it was addiction transference for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I was playing. I, I like managed to worm my way into fusion because I played with somebody who was in the guild back in original WoW. And I was like, hey, can I join? And he like remembered me and was like, I guess. <laughs> and then I, I never do you know you'd be the Baron later. never interviewed me. I just, he just I was just like a social and then I like wormed my way into a raid and then I got into the first raid and then I was playing and then COVID happened and I was like all in and then I did Scarab Lord and then blah 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 and I started streaming and then here I am. So And it now was you're like, in Seattle in the horribleness. Yeah. It was like it, it was like a slow decline into madness. <laughs> And then, like six months ago, I like hit a rut. I I was like depressed. I took a break, and now I'm back, and I'm I'm doing great. So he has um, six priests. I have six eighty-five priests because I'm mentally Crazy. struggling. Um, and yeah. uh, and Sod's coming. I'm going to play warrior for Sod. Oh. Um, and yeah, things are good. I'm here. I'm having a good good weekend with my friends and. It's been good. Yeah, hell yeah. And I would not have expected to be making a podcast tonight, but here we are. <laughs> and you were, you were expecting, because I talked about it all night, and said, okay, well, I'll do this as long as we can podcast. Candidly, I did not think we were going to get it together true. in time. I thought we were going <laughs> to... You thought gonna I was going to get too thing. drunk I and not fall do it. Apart. We got <laughs> been a little bit of a mess. Today we went to a baseball game. We went to the lake and swam. We had brunch and an amazing dinner. Flew my drone. You guys, yeah. this is my favorite story about today. Is I was telling Winky earlier, I was like, we did all this stuff today. We went to the base, we went to brunch, we went to the baseball game, we went to the lake, and then <laughs> we're driving back. <laughs> Only it's like, well, we can go to this bar and watch a sunset from the rooftop, and we're like, okay. He's like, or we can just go back to the apartment. We're like, yeah, uh, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> and then like five minutes later, he's like. We could also do the chip and putt over here. And we were like, that's okay. an option. <laughs> and then he's like, or we could just go back to the Airbnb. And we were like, yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds, that sounds great. <laughs> I mean, it's a big, we, I was in the sun a lot today. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very tan. So I'm, I'm drained. And Jordan, I'm, Jordan looks like a god. No. It's true. He I does. Agree. God. I don't. Yeah. Um, to, be, Romany, <laughs> to be fair, I would have Romany. wanted it to go to do whatever and keep going. I wanted to Dude, stay out we last were gonna night go. karaoke, but Bob's I buddy. wanted the podcast so much because it's so cool to podcast a person. It's such a rare thing we get to do now in this day and age. So I wanted to do it. It's a tradition. Winky, yeah, like they're actually three D. Ready? So he cool. needed oh, it to happen. Right. Let's let's hear the other three too. I, yep. I want to know how they Next. got, got here. Why are you here? Who do you know? Podcast. What? Why am I here? Who do I know? <laughs> Who invited you? Uh, I got invited by. <laughs> Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, Sarth actually invited me. What? No. I'm oh just yeah, kidding. Sarth was Only here. Black invited. Yeah, it. Sarth was here. It was a bummer. Yeah, yeah Sarth was here yesterday. Um, Ompi and Liz were supposed to come, but they didn't make it. Uh, I wish Ompi. Oh, I Craig's. don't know Liz, but I wish Ompi. Craig didn't make it. I yeah, Craig so didn't bad. make it either. Neither did Cargo. You know, everyone. But all built. the cool everyone kids built. made it. But that's okay. We're here. Yeah. And we made you know good times. Anyway, I started well because you can't. Start what you never quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so were you I, playing retail or you were playing I, private service? I played in 2004. My older brother got me into Classic WoW when it was still retail in vanilla. And then... Um, I feel like you can't call that Classic. That's confusing. Yeah, I played, I played all the way from launch until Wrath consistently. And then I leveled to max level in every expansion whenever they came out on launch day. And then petered off around Cataclysm, so I would I would like no longer really play anymore. But then I would come back for the next expansion and level to max level, just to try see the a raid or so. Yeah, just to say that I play. I'm still active. 
And then when Classic was announced, twenty what was that, 2018 or 2017 BlizzCon? I don't remember. I believe it was 28. It, it was the first BlizzCon that we went to, and yeah. we were covering the OWL. We were doing the OWL recap, and I was doing uh, Watch Watchpoint Radio, two different yeah. podcasts about Overwatch. And I was like, oh. Yeah, so up, up to that point, um, I really stopped caring after legion like it was like really yeah, i just right. gave up after legion i heard legion was um, good legion was amazing i loved legion anything I, it was not good after and i didn't even play shadowlands and haven't you know whatever but um no BFA? when they announced classic was coming out at blizzcon i had only ever played like fun servers like private servers like i, I had dabbled in some like tbc like fun private servers here and there like ones where you get like where it's like 20 times XP raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like a transmog shop where you can spend, you know, real money and buy like crazy that's what I legendary did for Bobby loves like, That's trans-mog. what I did for Ultima yeah. Online. It was cool. Those those were always really fun to just dabble and mess around when, when like I was day, bored on a laptop. For like a week, right? Yeah. yeah. And then um, I rolled on Lights Hope when they announced 2019 was coming so I could... Is get that back like into sweaty? The classic mode. Get, get was Light Soap sweaty? No. no. I mean, it, there uh, were sweaty people on Light Soap, but I just I just wanted to play classic. And I, you know, it's like when you're, you know, like that time, like once every year, all of your friends are like, we're starting a Minecraft server. And then everyone plays for like a month. I'm so and sorry. They, they I don't know what, anything, what you're talking about. I right guarantee now. you. <laughs> I, I have a point of click. Friends? Yeah, true, actually. Yeah, but I guarantee you that resonates with at least like two listeners. Like the, the Minecraft is a people. I'm the yeah. old dude. Yeah, so I did. I had I was in the vanilla WoW phase, and I did lights open, then I played that till launch. I'm so really uh, I'm so jealous of you guys that it was a good time. loved Minecraft, and I had <laughs> Dude, Legos. That was my first job. I had Legos. I love Legos. That's why I liked Minecraft. I, I know liked Legos. You know, that's, that's, Minecraft that's, was my very first job. I was a moderator for the Reddit servers. Yeah, there, there you go. Official wow. Reddit servers in nice. Alpha Minecraft. Oh, like that's all the wonderful fun. people. And they paid you? Yeah, they paid me. Yeah, what? they paid me How per ticket. Pay you five bucks a ticket. That's How many so tickets sick. did you get a day? I do like 30 tickets a day. That's good money. Oh, wow. wow. At what age? Uh, I was 14, 15. You heard it here first. Mojang employed Man. minors, guys. Just, uh, <laughs> child labor. That's not it's good. Fine. No worries. Oh, okay, it, so it, was just, it was just Reddit. So We're wait. <laughs> yeah, Reddit. Did. Wait, Wingy. Wingy, before oh. you go. So tell yes. me this. Yeah. I have to speak into the mic and look at you and I okay, can't do that, but that's to... fine. No. <laughs> it's so yeah, much better yeah, so yeah, much better yeah. um no what i want to know is you found out classic servers were coming out yes and then you chose to go to private servers yeah. a lot of people did that were practice. classic there was a huge i know influx of private server but players. i'm curious as to like i don't know i feel like that kind of like takes away from the excitement yeah, you shot your it load, did. for me at least like it, it it did but the thing about it was like me and my friend group my real life friends that were all gonna play wow and you know how it all goes they all started and then they quit like uh-huh. before phase two I, right dude yep i um, started with 15 people we we were all like really were personally competitive with each other and one of us so we had to like yeah we had this drive to like get on private servers and try and like learn the min max culture a little bit before the actual launch so that we mm-hmm. could like come in and beat each other and we were never really even good like you can look at my 2019 parses they're not good but I was better than my friends, and that's what mattered. That's you know, all the that matters, matters, right? Yeah. All that dude, mattered. Yeah. Mel and I, well, at least Mel probably didn't even think about it. I was the opposite. I was like the top one percent in actual vanilla, and I was like coming back. I was like, dude, I'm gonna show my shit, and then I was literally the idiot talking. I that's was like, so funny, be, be, because when we went through BWL proper, like before we went. You know, when we were in AQ, things changed. We started to realize warriors are awesome. Mm-hmm. But before that, all all the rogues were back. We're, we're, we're backstabbed. We took no warriors. Like, I mean, it was a completely different thing. And I'm telling, I'm, I'm like telling people like, yeah, nobody did engineering. Nobody did these world yeah, buffs no. you guys are talking about. And it was just like, it's I was the we dipshit died a lot. because of it. But I, I literally <laughs> was the 1%. Back in the day, and it was such a like learning process for me. To be like, oh shit, it I have to relearn though. everything. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid playing classic. I never even like knew that that existed. That there was like min max available in the game, and like I would go to elitistjerks.com and like 
read their boss strategies or their their class guides for fun and like learn things and it, you go back now and a lot of it's just completely wrong. Jordy's so wrong. Yeah, completely heavy wrong. Heavy sighing right now. It's it it was nuts. It was I mean, Jordy makes videos nuts. just reading a latest shark stuff from back then. You know, right? Yeah, you really? It's all plagiarized. Yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. figured. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like it's, how else so would you know? I literally got made fun of by my average guild yeah. about all my knowledge, and I would, thought I was going to be so cool because I did it back in the day at the top end. And then they're like, I we've done like, this on private servers for I the last five years. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, the the best part is like everyone, and I'm sure every listener also has that one person in the guild that's like, yeah, you know, I was. Top zero point five percent in in original vanilla WoW. You know our guild cleared Nax. I was the best guild on the <laughs> server, and it's like every single person has that. And you're like, no, that's literally not possible. Have you notice in just like everybody that's like, oh, yeah. I was gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah rank one. I literally was a gladiator <laughs> yeah. season one because of luck yeah. and the characters we choose chose for TBC and the fact that people just quit because. Yeah. I was a warlock and she was a priest, and it was just like dots weren't like dots went through resil re resilience, and so did mana and, and health trades. Well, I didn't know that. So it was literally when it first came out. We literally were gifted PC. it, and then yeah. like people think I'm bragging. I'm like, no, we, we tried really hard, just but never mean, made gladiator so after that real bad. because yeah. we weren't good. We just lucked yeah. in to the exact right classes that we got, and we never got well, gladiator I, I ever again. I don't know anything again. about PvP because I've never got, been a... Never gladiator. I've never been a PvP person. I don't know anything about how the ranking system works in arenas to be, like, at all. But the amount of people <laughs> you scroll through... Does. When you go on <laughs> Twitch and you read titles, it's like, oh, half this Twitch category is a rank one multi-glad. Yep. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. I thought there could only be one of those. Well, I don't know how that works. Now rank one is like the 03 percent now. It's like okay, so it's like way up a there. Lot of, there's a there's a big chunk. It's of not like that. number okay. one. And nowadays, there's people that have four or five people that are like one person that has yeah. four or five characters yeah. that are. Oh yeah, I've heard, I've heard of the, the toxicity in the PvP scene and the people that are selling slots and yeah, I've heard all that. They stuff, they but, added that yeah. because it was getting really bad. So, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Think of every rogue right. you've ever met. Bobka. And then think of like, Bobka. yep. Oh. Yeah. Shout out to like. my oh, good GM rogues, you meant. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bobka, love you. Yeah. Shout out to Bobka. Shout out to Showback. All right, here you go. All right, All right Sully. Mr. Sully. Thank you. Yeah, so I played private server as well. Um, mm -hmm. Wrath private servers mm -hmm. on that shall not be named uh, website, and um, I met a lot of cool people there. Um, you know, from our country. There's also a lot of people from other countries playing on those private servers. What country is that? The United States of oh. America. America! And for me, it's been about people. Um, once, you know, Classic Vanilla was announced that was coming back, you know, a lot of the guys I was playing private server with wanted to play, and so that's what we did. We played. And I've moved around a lot over, like, the last four or five years, so I haven't been able to commit as much as I would want to to the game. But the people keep bringing me back, like meeting people like you guys, um, whether it's hardcore or, you know, Classic Vanilla, or S -O -D. PC. What's that? I said, or S-O-D. S-O-D, copium, hope. And, you know, I think one of the cool things, the overarching, you know, theme for Classic right now is we have so many options to play. I mean, mm -hmm. we've got Kata, we've got S-O-D, we've got Classic Do you Classic think there are Era too many on. options? Yeah, is that good? That's the question. Was it five? There's, I mean, we, we did the math earlier, but it's modern, Classic Era, era hardcore, uh, Kata, Kata, Sod, Sod, Sod Mop Remix. Oh, and Mop Remix. And then there was and Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm for a while. There's closed. Rumble a little bit, but that doesn't count. Rumble? Because... No, it's a different game. I think the cadence has been too fast. Like, I was really into the hardcore servers, but what, it was like a month or five weeks, and then we had Sod. Do you think that the player base is being split up too minutely so that we can't all play together because we're all playing different versions of the game? Yes. Especially like for a casual like myself. Yeah. Like, I can play two games. Yeah, that's especially right. a game like WoW where it takes, it takes a lot time. Of, yeah. Lot of time. Yeah, and gold. This is literally and gold. what we've talked about for the last two episodes prior to this. There I'm you go. probably making a lot of noise for the mic. Um, this is literally what we talked about. People are going to have to make a choice now, because I if I can't even play Kata and Sada at the same time. Although I might join your GDKP and then I. 
probably can play cat inside the same thing. But either way, if I can't do that, what's the average guy that works 40 to 50 hours a week? Or gal, sorry, sorry, sorry. Or like or anybody, like how are they going to play? People have to and also even when I switch from game to game, I remember going back into Saad and doing my first raid after I did my raid in Kata. And I was eviscerating what I should have been envenoming right. Small as a rogue yep. in in yeah. Saad. And I was like, why is my DPS so low? What's going on? Yeah. Oh, my mind is going... Because I try to keep my as much as possible close on the same games. But I was hitting... The different button that that was eviscerate half of the time instead of in venom, and it kind of pulls you. You have to really kind of center yourself and almost do a practice dungeon before you even raid if you want to do it right. And it's it's really hard. People are going to have to choose. I think to that point, for me, I'm making a conscious choice to not play the same class in those two different games because. <laughs> then I'm not going to fall into that trap of like... That's smart. You know, smiting in Sod. Is, it, I'm in that's a, why you're going I'm Warrior. That that's why right I'm now. going Warrior, I'm yeah. So right if, I'm, if I'm playing something that I don't play in Kata in Sod or vice versa, then it'll be a little bit easier. I just found out that I don't like anything but melee DPS. I, There's a I lot of melee lot. DPS you could play, though, that aren't rogue. Like Hunter. Well, yeah. That's and, true. There is melee really, hunter, and yeah. it's good. And it's good. It's really but good. we'll we'll see. Like, like if like tanking warlock, barrel druid. If you melee know, hunter uh, is a tank warlock, than tank warlock as a DPS. I, mean, I, I maybe dare not you. That. I dare you. I mean, someone's gonna do it. Melee that's, hunter that's just a feels caster. weird to me. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like casters. casters. You do like I don't like casters. I don't. I, don't. I, don't. I, don't. I don't. It's just like he gets a. So so like my my big thing about about all those game modes. I don't know. Part of me like. I keep thinking of the um, the balance that must be like that they must be trying to strike between like the developer's perspective and the gamer's perspective, like between like a really exciting time to play WoW and a really overwhelming time to play WoW and a tumultuous time to play WoW, because you've got all these conflicting game modes that are to to use words that I've heard from from devs post season of mastery, like. At, at risk of cannibalizing the player base, splitting them up between too many things, sure, um, but also setting the stage for ongoing projects like Classic Plus, for ongoing projects like trying to find the next twenty years of retail, um, you know. And I do think that like those futures are really exciting, um, and there is, uh, in many ways, a place for everybody in World of Warcraft right now. Um, but I do think that for holistic enjoyers uh, like those of us at this table, no matter how casual you are, no matter how sweaty you are, um, you know, it it can feel overwhelming when you're like, well, I, I love hardcore, I love era, I love sod, like I love like kata, like I, like I think retail is cool, I'd love to get into it, like all of these different things. Um, and it can be a lot, especially when we know by playing this MMO, you know, for, in Winky's case, the entire time, you know, over 20 years, or I guess 20 years on the dot now. Um, you know, like, yeah, it's it's a lot to, to keep track of. I don't know how they, the developers, keep it all straight. Like, the game is so different mm-hmm. from Kata to Sod now. Mm-hmm. And to remember what works in Kata and then, like, what works in Sod and have them be separate in your, like, and I know that they're the same team. And I think that that is a major flaw in the, Structure of. Can I ask? A, I a wonder question. if you yeah. have a. Oh, go. go. So I, I've got a question for you there. Like, you, you say that the games are so different between Catan and Sod, for example, uh, and that like it's interesting to try and keep them separated as a developer. Like, do you think that there are times when the developers are implementing things, for example, in Sod or changes to Cata or like the direction uh, of of these games that where these audiences start to bleed. Like I know one of the big like speculations that I've always had is that the developers are trying to figure out a way to get us all back on one track and all be able to play together to make it easier. Um, but that's from like a monetization standpoint. Sure. Um, but I'm wondering like when it comes to those two game modes, for example, classic and sod, uh, do you think that there is some overlap in like, Oh yeah. Like, you know, they, they kind of can serve the same audience or we can try and like tailor, 
uh, sod into becoming something where like more Kata players would want to play it or vice versa. I mean, they're definitely doing that with all of the new spells that they've been adding to sod that are very similar to the way classes play in Kata, but the, the games themselves play differently like mm -hmm. mob logic uh, it plays differently like the way the hp scales and all that stuff and it's like from a qa's perspective it's got to be just awful like <laughs> keeping track of it all and and being able to squash bugs like we i wasn't there i was still not playing but like cata beta was a mess and like they it's because mm -hmm. they were working on sod and it's like i don't blame them for working on sod because imagine you're a developer You've been, you know, uh, yeah, like you've people. been babysitting this game, trying to just keep it alive for players and and being a good steward of what the past was for everybody for so long. And all of a sudden, you're like, "Hey, let's make stuff." And as a game developer, that's got to be like really, really exciting because, like, finally, you're making something you're creating rather than just um, repackaging. Being a uh, steward. Like yeah, in, you're not. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah, now you're now you're actually the like the steward. You, now you're actually like creating a, a game. And as a game developer, like that that's the goal, right? And so I don't blame them for like throwing themselves into sod and putting Cata on the back burner. But well, Cata seems to be doing really well right now. And I, there's a lot of like suffering that's happening in Cata because of all the time in sod. And then. Then they, they threw themselves into Kata and then Sod suffered and it kind of died in phase three. Yeah. And so they need to split the teams up in two and have two separate things going on. But I mean, if you do that, then at the end of Sod, where do those play, where do those devs go? Do they go to the next seasonal server? And then you just like, it's, it's How complicated. Do you financially oh, justify yeah. that though. Justify splitting the devs up? Right. Because I do think that there's so much of an overlap, right? Like... Well, the, the question is like, oh, go, finish. Sorry. No, you're fine. They're making the same amount off of somebody who plays Sod or somebody who plays Kata, Ooh, and you, you somebody who plays stuff. both. Well, I'm just yeah. saying, like, you have to justify two teams. Yeah. Well, so so yeah. I I've got a, an interesting thought that I think just deepens the question a yeah. little bit more than anything else. But I I also think of that question very monetarily because I see it as the sub, and the question is like. Are you keeping a sub that would otherwise be lost? Are you sure. gaining a sub? Like, or are you just like, are you like giving people more reasons to have a sub or is it just like adding a new game mode and you're not really getting anything out of it? Like, right. and that's where the question of like justification financially comes in. You know, I, part of me thinks having gone through, um, the journey of classic with everybody and the journey through hardcore with everybody and both season of mastery and season of discovery, you know, that, that urge that we always hear about classic plus, um, you know, I, I think, and the changes that we've seen in Kata and what's next after Kata, I think is a big, uh, financial reason to be investing, uh, so heavily in making something new because, sure. you know, I think almost across the board, when you ask people, you know, mop is no longer classic. Uh, that's why we've got mop remix. You know, a lot but of people said so Kata is no longer classic. Mop. Well, yeah, but, mop but remix what? isn't mop classic. Mop remix is well, sure, but it, but it's it's mop in, plus. You know, yeah, like it's it's, it's the like, sod of, of mop. Yeah, it's right. modern game completely. With yeah, mop. but but <laughs> acronyms on acronyms. I know, I know. <laughs> but, 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 but it's being, mop being plus part, classic be, plus yeah, but, modern but being, ish. Yeah, but being part of this most recent era revival on Deviant Delight on NA at least. Um, I, I have heard um, a very interesting way of phrasing it. I know that Winky back there on the couch is, is uh, partially to blame for this, but uh, finding a distinction between oh, blame I'm Winky. sorry, uh, Winky's not to blame. He's to thank. He's to thank for this. Thank. Yeah, never, never, never at fault. Uh, Winky's always Obviously. right. Uh, quote that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's the distinction between classic plus and vanilla plus. You know, because Cataclysm is classic, you know, and Cataclysm is so different than vanilla. Sure. You know, uh, for me, like I, I, I have come to understand that I've been kind of misusing the phrase and asking for something that I don't really want. Like I want vanilla plus, like I want vanilla with cheaper respects, um, and like a few other minor utility changes that don't really change the world, but that's it. Like dual spec. Whereas, uh, I don't, I'm I don't good. even want dual spec. Uh, like I just want a cheaper respec cost. I think it's really interesting <laughs> that you have to go back to the main city and like redo all your yeah. talents and like make a conscious choice about your class identity. 
Yeah. Um, but like other my people, my way is always going to be the best. That yeah, I've said uh, sorry, forever. I said Winky's always right. I'm always right. Quote it. Um, <laughs> there you go. But the best but, would be if you had a spec for every version no, you were we've in. We've already debunked this. But like dungeon instance, if your only, spec changes only, as you walk in. If only. Um, but like other people want, you know, like added content, like add add Gilneas, add Olden, like add like Mount Hydral or, you know, like, uh, like give me like the blood elves, give me the extra classes, like, you know, give me dual spec and, you know, redo the PVP system, like all of these things, you know, and some people want it all, you know, and I think that like that is more of the, the classic plus when, when they you're saying, now. okay, everybody wants something, let's amalgamate it into something that can work. And I think that that is the financial viability Right. Of like why sod is important while cat is going on, sure. figuring out what's next, figuring out as Jordy was saying, like how do we make a game Don't you, you think know that really Sod appeals like to these broad audiences who all want to be part of like the different niches that make up this community? Sure, I agree. Don't you think Sod is like the testing realm though? Absolutely. For, yeah, absolutely. Like, what do the player because you ask ten different players what they want and you get ten different answers. Hundred percent. No, you get a hundred, it doesn't matter. Exactly. But what I'm saying is that, like, I don't even think we really know what we want no. a lot of times. And I think that sod is a really good area for us to say, like, OK, this worked, this didn't. Right. And I do think that it's this testing ground of, like, here's what we can do. I don't know that there is any reality that we all come together as classic and modern Kumbaya. gamers, because I think that no. there okay. are two We've different schools of thought between the two different like games. Right. And I know some people play both and I know some people like both. And I, I, I'm not saying that we like are rivals or hate each other. I'm just saying, I think what people like about classic, I don't know that the modern retail players, that's what they're looking for. And we're back after our technical difficulties. We had to change the batteries. My phone recording the video filled up. I should probably get a new phone. But uh, yeah, we're back. And you guys are going to tell us exactly. You guys are going to tell us that we came back on the wrong spot. But we believe we're at what went wrong with Saad. And uh, Mr. Soli was regaling us with his sod, but, but, sod, sod yeah, experience. But, but again, I, you know, I want to, I want to expand the question a little bit. I was saying I think it would be really valuable to hear it because, as I understood, you play sod or have played sod and continue to play er, er, uh, kata, right? You know, and I think that the where they're going with kata is just as important as where they're going. Uh, with sod, so I would, I would expand and, that question to kata as well, and to also put on top of that. Mr. Sully is a casual, and he is about to Super do his casual. first normal. Filthy casual. When he gets back home, he's about to do his first normal in Cata, and this is what a Who lot is of this people loser? Mr. So Sully is a casual that just happens to play on like every private server and prepped for all of the expansion launches. Wait, we keep. He's he self described. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not well, an established raider. No, no, no. I, I said. I said self ascribed. Let me Catholic. clear something up. Fair. If don't, he's don't just about, I'm going to just call it how it is. No if he's, I'm not shaming him. I'm filthy. Point it out that I love it. I love about it. to raid. Dump five dirt on me, baby. After the raid has been open, that is a casual, okay, or you could even call that. It like I talked. To, I've talked about it with other people. If you don't raid every week, and you don't raid, and and you raid for like four weeks mm -hmm. and then quit things, that's more like a tourist, yeah, than rather a casual. A casual is a casual that cat that casually plays. A hardcore is a Jordy. That plays has six, six level six eighty-five priests. priests. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with any of it. They give I'm us not something to shoot for. Anybody. Here's the we thing. We want the other is there's, opinions. There's That's, twenty-seven the levels in between. Yes. Yeah. As well. There's so right? many different so, categories. So I think I'm what a sweaty casual. And you can also be a hardcore player and a casual raider. 
True. Right. Yep. So like, yep. there's not even like there's so many Good different point. varieties, and I yep. do think that like Wow you offers you that opportunity. Yeah. Could be considered a hardcore player, but a very casual yeah. raider, yeah, right? Yeah, so, right? So there's no real, there's no, yeah. but We're either way, way I was just trying to preface for anybody listening that's about just to do their first yeah. raid too. Yeah. So actually. What I can do is tie this back to what you said earlier, Jordy, what, talking about if do we have too many options? Because w- when phase three launched, and I think it was a shitty launch, I left and went and played Kata because I had the option to. Well, that's good or bad, I'm not sure. Would you have stayed in <clears throat> Sod if Kata wasn't available? Yes. Okay. I would have stayed in Kata if Sod wasn't coming. Sod phase okay. four. Is that bad, though? I don't think so. Not for me. I mean, it's good to have options. Fair. If something sucks, you can go somewhere else and play the game that you like. A little different version. I think that's a positive or, thing. Or if everything's good, but something's better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to give the, to give the argument, you know. I mean, I came back because I think Phase 4 is going to be cool, Thank and I've never rated on, on vanilla. <laughs> oh, you've never rated Never rated vanilla. vanilla. So. Oh, you didn't really start in treat. Classic yes. Classic, did you? Multi-core no. Multi-core is just... Boring. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, here's unless here's the thing though. You're a DPS unless you've you never done it before. Right class, unless you've never done it before, I think. Yeah. I mean, was yeah. it was it boring the first time you did it? Like all yeah. those years ago? Uh, well, yeah. he was a healer, so yes. I'm also going to be healing. Yeah. Priest. Yeah. yeah if you you're a warrior with listen, world buffs, I need it's to... like your hair's on fire. You're driving down. 190 degrees on Highway 1 and a Lamborghini. Listen, it's I need amazing. to know this. I need to know this. He's only disappointed me oh. and said he was a rogue. I was a priest back then. For, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank God. Dwarf priest. I was a druid. Named Aga. I was also Aga. a human priest because dwarfs are horrible. Oh, docs. Well, what you, do you mean you, they have the best you hair made the casting wrong, animations? You made the wrong choice for multiple reasons, but that's okay. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> but I was cute. Made, made the right And that's all I really cared priest, about. Though. Sure. And I'm the that, only one. But you're also the wrong choice in, in playing a Literally every, <laughs> every single one. <laughs> um, okay, interesting. Do you, do you feel like uh, the larger design decisions bet- behind Sod have been good? Like, do you like runes? Do you like... The small addition of quests. Do you like uh, yes. the level bands that they've been doing on those launches? Do you like the item adjustments? Do you like the way that the raids have been implemented across each level cap? Have you been writing these down? Yes, I mean I really do. I think that they <laughs> have you been journaling. They made it a little bit easier because let's be honest, vanilla is a, a slog fest to get to sixty time wise. I mean, it really is. Sure. It's a big time commitment to from forty to sixty is like. I think the average is like seven to ten days right. to get from zero to sixty for most people, which I love. I mean, they came out and said they were going to experiment with this, and that's what they've been doing. Yeah. So whether they miss on one or two small things or even one big thing throughout an entire expansion, I'm glad that they're messing with it. And I think that's what we're trying to get to, though. I think that's what we're trying to get to is, like, what do we feel like were the hits and what do we feel like were the misses, right? I'm going to give them one thing. Did you like... The stopping at 25, stopping at 40, stopping at 50. The as level a Absolutely. Did that help That helped a lot. Okay. Yeah. Because you have people rating let's, within, what, a, a week or two like if it's if it's time, 60? Yeah. Okay. I mean. What about runes? Runes are fine. I mean, they're not great, oh, but they're. Fine is not going into I, yeah, I mean. I, yeah, you use the so word So my first character was a paladin. Be good. So getting Crusader Strike as a paladin level two or three, whatever it was, four. Yeah. That was awesome. I mean, that changed how Paladin but felt I from think 1 to 20. more than just the spells you're getting. Like, the way that the runes work, the way that they're applied to your gear, the way, the way that they're, they're acquired. acquired. Like, I, like, I, for example, think that runes were the wrong vehicle for the right, like, system changes. I think you're uh, completely wrong. So what's a better vehicle? Okay. Do you have I, a solution? I, yeah. Uh, ever since we first heard about Sod at BlizzCon, uh, I have been an advocate for... Um, redoing talent systems sure, um, and making talents available before. But do you know why they didn't do that? that Because I I, I do think that they didn't do that because it was an experimental server. No, I'm I'm fine with the experiment. I just don't think that, I think that like ruins as a new system and a vehicle for those class changes was more of a flop than a win here. I think okay. just changing but I guess talents I could have been as good. Hold on, let me ask a question flashy. about that. It's not splashy. Real quick, I 
I want to give you guys all the chance to add to like to like answer this, but I will take the opposite side and say the rune system was the coolest thing to ever come to WoW ever because it's a way to instantly change your. It's like a sub spec, and you can instantly change, and it changes so many that's, other specs. It makes it so that's fine, dynamic but I, and interesting. And you, fun. you know what I think that that difference is? I think it goes back to me not wanting dual spec in the game. And I bet that yeah. you yeah. love dual spec because you were saying that you want dual spec is the you best want your spec to automatically <laughs> change second best depending on what activity second you're engaging in. Dual I, I want that to be a very conscious and game. big decision for how you so, uh, engage with the world around you. You have never played Warrior in vanilla, is no. what you're telling me. No. <laughs> I want to know. Because Rogue. Yeah, no, no, no. It, 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 instead, no changes? instead, PvP. No, I'm not even or, that. or you're telling me you're not into it's PvP. Ends, man. No, I do like PvP. Yeah. But but like, but what I'm saying, problem. look look, I don't. You're right. I don't play warrior in vanilla. I play priest in vanilla. But like I think that it's really cool that like I have to make a very conscious choice to be a healer that is so reliant on groups, and I get like really big rewards from being reliant sure. and being integral to groups. Like, oh, but then when I, when I need to go change to farm gold, like to go PvP, to even just open world, like farm a recipe, like I have to go make a decision to change my spec to change my gear. I think that that's like a very cool class fantasy bit of interaction that I get to make with the system. And I really like that. I don't like being able to just switch into a different spec. I don't like the fact that I can just swap runes around and be a completely different character. Yeah, like I, I don't like how that kind of thing can be done on the fly. And I, I get that that's like a me thing. I'm sure that a lot of people would disagree and would be more leaning toward toward you, but I really like the I big do, do. conscious decision. Usually, people think I have the worst takes on the podcast, so it's okay. okay. Well, then but I'm right. <laughs> no, but okay. I do get that, and I do get where you're coming from, and that's why I thought the rune system was such a happy medium, and how it was even like we didn't have dual spec for phase one or or phase two. And the rune system made that okay, and it was a way to like kind of change. And I liked the fact that there was a little bit of change in in there, and you could be like, okay, well, I need to tank this dungeon. I'm not going to be the best tank because I haven't respect on my my rogue, but I can put the tank runes on and get it kind of done. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So I mean, I see, I see both sides. But my my alternative that I thought of when like because when I first brought it up to some devs, they said like it's a massive amount of work for an experimental server to like go through sure. all the, yeah, the, the talent trees and change them. And I said that's totally understandable. I still wish that you would have even looked at something like introducing a an augmented glyph system. Well, and using glyphs. It is. Are they sure. basically it is. Because, because at, le at exactly least you at least is. you have to go buy the glyph every time. You can't just say like, oh, okay. like I'm at a new boss. Click, I'm gonna click, switch click. up my okay. runes because yeah. the mechanics. Maybe, like, oh, like like I've that. got like this like like a stack of this class that I'm facing in this war song gold. So I'll just switch up my runes. Like so, again, I don't like the. But we don't have GDKP, so how was, am I supposed to buy all the fucking glyphs? The runes was was <laughs> actually an idea they got from a change to paladin glyphs in. Wrath, and that's how they came up that's with cool. the idea because they were like, We can't really change the trees, but we can change this one glyph that changes a bunch of things. So it is interesting, but I mean, I see it both ways. But how does everybody else feel about the glyphs? Is your, there, is your, I feel like your qualm is it doesn't feel as RPG esque when you can yeah. just hot swap your spells depending on the need, and it's like all of a sudden you're a different type of. Yeah, I, I really like the class fantasy and the character yeah. fantasy being locked into my identity. Would it help if we had to go to like a major city and make those changes, even if it was still runes? Uh, for me, yes. I understand that it's an inconvenience for, for someone uh, like Bob who wants to play a warlock and, hey, Bob here. and be able to like, swap <laughs> between tank and DPS depending on the dungeon uh -huh. group. Um, you know, but I, I think that it's cool to have to make, again, that decision. That'd be a cool middle ground, I think. Yeah, I think runes are really cool. I hate the acquisition of them, and I get it. It's it was cool in phase one. <laughs> acquisition made me quit. Song. Yeah, it was cool in phase one, um, and that's just my take on it. It it was fun to discover while you were actually discovering them, and then it was just like a slog. Yeah. Okay, you roll an all right real. now. We all just waited till the Wowhead articles that. came out. I was writing them <laughs> in phase one. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Okay. So here's uh, the thing: is that I think the runes and everything, everything about Sod was hype 
in it was amazing. phase Wait. one, right? Yeah, phase one. Everything was, great. was hype in phase one. Everybody was excited. The yeah. runes were cool. The level cap was amazing. We got to do different things. The difficulty of getting epics and raids was cool. You, yes. So here's what I here's what I want to know. Aren't we coming into this like inevitable level progression that just continues to get further and further away from what we want? Yes. Right? Because at level 25, everybody could play. They could join very easily. They could level an alt if they wanted to, not to 85, like Jordy is with like six priests, but like, you know, they could level two or three alts if they wanted to, even being a casual player because the level cap was at 25. Mm -hmm. I guess my proposal is like, that for me was the pinnacle of Sod. Like yeah. that was the amazingness. And it's not just because Sod was new, it's because of so many other things. And I think the further and further we get from that, the further and further we get from enjoying yeah. the game like that. It's a fresh enjoyer. Yeah. No, I'm not, though. I am well, a fresh enjoyer. I'm I not. Sure. I wonder, though, Keep, like, have you um, ever thought, what if the level cap was 25 and we just kept moving on from there? Can I give you a hot take that you're going to hate? No. I think, I think you might. Oh. Yeah, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Wow, you actually listened I, to me. I I'm, think that you might like uh, like the leveling system that retail offers more that. than you think. No, because I hated cattle leveling. Yeah, I, but cattle leveling is a slog. Retail leveling, if you're super fast, takes like four and a half hours. Here's the hours. thing. I love leveling. Like, honestly, if I wasn't married to Bob... I would just level. I so, probably so wouldn't is, even is it, raid. Is it more yeah. that like the end game activities like raiding, like being able to like group up for, for organized PvP was accessible to you after less hours? I think it's the barrier to entry the further we get, right? So yeah. if I want to tell a friend to come play the game and they don't have a character or I want somebody to transfer to play with me, right? The barrier to entry, increasingly every phase, gets harder and harder and harder. Yeah. Even though, even though you're you're actually you have those level gaps. Sure. It is yeah, a they, huge and they barrier do to the entry. Catch up mechanics. Well, thing. and also on top of it, I will agree with you that I think they made the runes too powerful in uh, in Sod. And you can go back to my to interview fun. with the devs, phase one, and I asked them. As you introduce more runes, are you gonna do a thing where it's like you're allowed to do three runes across all of your gear, even though you could do seven runes? Are you gonna make it so you can only use three or four type of deal? And they said, no, we're just gonna let you Keep use adding. all of the runes. And I thought right off the bat, maybe they should just limit it so it's so it's spice rather than changing, because now we literally have two specs because of the runes. What about this? What if you had to re... What if you had to respec runes? Well, so... Right? So just like you have to respec talents... Can I tell you my dream for what I wanted runes to be? Yeah. When I... When no. They no. That oh. <laughs> when they announced that runes were going to be a thing in Sod, I'm a Diablo 2 player, and mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of the people listening played Diablo 2. Diablo 2! Uh, Lord of Is Destruction that the one introduced like Diablo runes 3 came and out, rune right? words in Diablo 2. Four. What's that? There's yeah, four. Uh, yeah, no, it's four Diablo now. Four. All right. Well, so okay. as a Should Diablo 2 like Omega nerd, I wanted runes to be like very Diablo 2-esque. And you you find them in the world through a chest or killing a mob or killing a boss, whatever. They drop. They're random. And then you can... I mean, WoW already has socketed gear in TBC. We can borrow that. And then you can equip these runes on your gear. They're single use. And you can, let's say you equip three specific runes and then you get like a set bonus on your chest piece that says, you know, plus one to victory rush or plus one to blink. And that unlocks that for your character. When you upgrade that piece of gear, you actually lose that ability until you go get those runes again, make the same rune it's word. Fucking miserable. Are you telling me go get more runes? <laughs> no. Well, I'm saying the acquisition would saying. not be tied to quests. It would be tied to like world drops. And it would be just something different. 
Because that's just like that's how Diablo two is, and I know it's like not every WoW player's dream, but like, it's like definitely my dream. I would love to have rune words. In, but also in, Diablo in two, WoW. you don't have to like you don't rely on nineteen other people no. for a raid, right? Yeah. And I feel like that's where the barrier would come, where you would say like, "Oh, you got a new piece of gear. You're fucked." You gotta go yeah. find this rune again. Yeah. Well, no, or no, no. They would be on the auction house. Yeah, that was my question. Wow. No, they, no they, they're literally consumables on the auction house. Like, you just post the runes. Like, you find a rune. Something that's dropping all the time from the yeah, world. Yeah, it's, it's world drops, it's boss drops and raids. But not it's as whatever. easy as just clicking. Oh, and they're not soulbound? No, you just post them on the auction house. Uh, so you get a new piece of gear, you just go to the auction house and buy which abilities so you, buy you want. Gold. And equip them. Do you have to do that in whoa, whoa, the city, whoa, whoa. like with a vendor? I would same. assume you just buy them, and you can even keep them in your bag when you get a new piece of gear. You just—it's the same whoa. as gems and It'd be TBC. The same as a new glyph, or a new glyph, or a new gem. Okay, yeah, like. But glyphs, we used to carry cut, you know, yeah. lavishly whatever. Sure. Topaz hit gems, whatever. So if you got a new piece in raid, you could slap it on, and I don't know. I thought it would be cool to do so. Maybe if there's any private I'm sorry, server enjoyers out like, there really, that want to like, like tur- you know, Turtle Wow, if you're listening. I think what let's try um, it. The, the you guys yeah. are talking about uh, the the talents being unchanged and stuff like that, and I, I've heard them mention before that they they can't change the base game because Classic Era still exists and they're the same client and they're they're essentially the same servers. Just there's a layer on top of Sod right. that adjusts everything. At least this was the mm-hmm. technology that it's like a patch. They said, yeah. Yeah. Can, can I tell you a funny anecdote? They've well, kind of so, redigged on that though. Okay. A little sure. Bit with but some but um, I think that's at least where they started. And so the rune system was like a way for them to uh, add something rather mm-hmm. than uh, change something, so that yeah. you could adjust the way that the classes are played. And still allow exactly for error. Like and still yeah. have error, yeah. yeah. And so, but, I mean, there's been some changes in Saw that have adjusted era accidentally, yes. and it's caused problems in hardcore yeah. and a lot of other stuff. And so, like, that's it been It has issue. been recently, too, yeah. very yeah. much yeah. so. Yeah. And destroying so, hardcore. Service. And so, again, this is another reason why they need to, they need to fix the separate. technology yeah. and, and, and separate these things and yeah. separate the devs so that they're all working on the project that they understand and that yeah. they, they know where the, you know all the bodies are buried and stuff like that. But the, the rune system has been, in, I, in my opinion, really, really cool. I just think <clears throat> that it's, it's not, it hasn't quite worked perfectly. The rune acquisition, in my opinion, the first time around, like in phase one was really cool because like, most of your runes were in the starting zones. They were pretty easy to get. You would stump like I remember phase one launch. I was like, stumble. I was well. with I was with a yeah. rogue, and I found this random pile of dirt under a bridge, and was like, "What is this?" And the rogue was like, "Oh, I can click it." And there was a rune there, and it was like, "Holy, co- that's really cool." Or like, yeah. you go down into a crypt, and you have to kill a mob, and you have there's a little bit of RP, and it's like really interesting, and like you have another rune. I was like, "This is really cool." And I went to the internet, and there was like nothing there, and I was like, "We just found mm-hmm. something that was awesome." I know, and then really, you sent it to me, and I yeah, put it on the internet for people. To- <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, sorry. But I, and, sorry. And to be fair. We had it better than most. We were in the swamp Discord with like 30 people. Yeah. I remember being embarrassed because I was talking to Chad, thanking them for a sub, and everybody was like, oh, Bob, thanks nice for the sub. Nice thanks for the... Yeah, I've done horrible. that before. It's the worst. Um, yeah. but, but I think that like that's a really fun moment, and like I, I'll always remember that moment where it's like we yeah. discovered something. It was something, magical. And that was like, oh, this is what Season of Discovery is meant to be. Like we're discovering mm-hmm. a new layer on this game that we love. But then we it, ruined but it. Then somewhere, <laughs> somewhere it devolved into, okay, I'm going to wait six hours, pull up Wowhead, and it's all going to be on mm-hmm. there. And then I just have to go and just ding, 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 go get them all, do a little world tour, get everything, and then and then boom, now so I have it everything. Takes six hours. And it's like, oh, I did my homework. I'm showing up to whatever group I'm supposed to be in with the appropriate things. Like, I just did all of my warrior runes, and it took me an afternoon to get like half of them. And I was just running around the world, talking to chat, just like blah, blah, blah. I'm doing random stuff that I had no idea was here, but now it's here. And it lost that discovery aspect. And it yeah. was more like, I'm doing homework A chore. again. Yeah. Which, like, I like in, I like in vanilla having to prepare my character for rate like that is really fun but when it it becomes a chore and it's no longer like uh you know a a a, a discovery thing like the which is the point of what the server is it's because that's what they named it it, it you just, it's not it's not quite enough well, hold on I, hold I on let me ask... say something let me say something okay, first yeah go ahead do you think that 
I feel like we're asking for our cake and to eat it too because you, and this is combining you and only, right? Because it's like, I want the chore of going to have to go back to town to respec, going to have to go do this to do that. But I don't want the chore of having to go out in the world and find my runes, right? right. Like, are I've, we... I've got a good anecdote yeah. to explain that. Um, so, like, I quit after... During the first week of phase two in Sod. Okay. Uh, because I uh, leveled, like, you know, Jordy and I worked on a, a priest, like a pre-questing guide together. It's wonderful. A quest deck guide. Uh, you know, we got to do it ourselves. Uh, Hope we for had the a, upcoming a one for phase four. For phase one to phase two, your guide uh, was one of the funnest things for three groups of my friends. Yeah, it looked like, like, a, like it, was a, it was a lot of fun to, to, to get to do on multiple characters. But but I digress. Uh, <laughs> like we, we had this uh, raid group ready. Like we were in a dungeon group together. Um, like I had been told that like I was going to be tanking for it. Um, you know, so I got all on my tank priest. gear ready on it. No, sorry. I'm just on a, on a, I was, no, <laughs> uh, I, I had been playing through it. I had leveled up a shaman to be able to do this. Um, you know, I had everything ready. Um, and then, um, when we got in there, you know, a last minute call, we asked me, they asked me to do kind of like a hybrid Ellie resto, uh, role instead. And we just had our warriors, uh, tank, but then you know after. So it was Jordy's fault, is what you're telling. No, it yeah, was, but, but it then was the raid lead. Yeah, but, of, yeah, yeah. but but then but then for the next reset, you know, I was asked uh, like, okay, like, can you get your tank runes ready, uh, you know, for the next reset, uh, which is going to be like you know three days later or something, um, you know, and you know get ready to go again. I was like, okay, sure. Like I I ended up passing on all of the the possible tank gear. Right. Uh, you know, I, I still have pretty good gear from from the raids. Sure. It didn't phase out too bad. But I went to go get my runes, and one of them, I forget which one it was. I forget all the specifics, but I had to go to, from like Desolus to Dustwall and Marsh to all all these different zones and kill these elementals, and they all shared spawns mm -hmm. with other mobs. And I, other every mobs time too. I looked, every <laughs> well, every time I looked like slash who shaman in these zones. There were over fifty shamans at max level hunting this same rune in mm. all those zones, and they were like, there weren't enough. And I was like looking at discords, talking like, you know, in Twitch chats, just in general chat, and people were being like, yeah, I've been here for six hours trying to do a third of this quest, like, and I'm halfway done. And I was just like, okay, I'm not spending eighteen hours to do like Jordy's saying my homework so I can show up preparatory. Like, this isn't fun to me right. i i think it was the the way in which you got the runes right like in phase one it, it was like, like it's not necessarily like, the rune like one, one system of the cool, one of the cool things that happened to me phase one like as a druid i because i i rolled druid i'm, I'm a Did priest enjoyer, but I rolled druid because no because you got uh free wrath and i was like so i'm cool. going i'm going to like mob farm i'm not going to quest and so oh, I'm like, I, I roll in Molagor, like I'm like killing the gnolls from level f like five until nine. And then I go into the Venture Co. Cave and I'm just having a blast. I like, I, I was an hour and a half to late drink. to launch because I couldn't get in. You know, Gordon Ramsay, Druid Extraordinaire is got in minute two mm. and I pass him. Like yeah. I'm, I'm flying. I'm Look feeling amazing. And while I'm in there, like part of the reason I did that, I knew I wanted to go engineering immediately. And there's an mm. engineering trainer like up at the end of the cave out mm -hmm. on the little cliffs looking there you go. over Mulgor, like a really fun uh, Easter egg. You know, so I'm using that. Mm -hmm. I'm mining in there. I'm having yeah. a blast. You know, there's a there's a forge <laughs> and anvil. Um, but I, you know, discover um, the, um, uh, what's it called? Like the little spirit that you like have to talk to, like the pile of bones or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Like in, like, I'm like, oh man, like that's super cool. And then suddenly a couple of players like just having fun in their little duo come by mm -hmm. and one of them uh, is a shaman. I'm like, hey, like you're a shaman. Like, cause it had something to do with resurrections. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, hey, like you're a shaman. You might be able to click on this and use it. Like, let's all group up for a second. Right. You know, I thought it was a really fun. It's like a really quick interaction, Sure. but it was something that I stumbled on because I felt like, you know, I could do something out of the norm. This was a season yeah. of it discovery. Was, it was an RPG element. Yeah, and it was an that RPG element that was super, super cool. fun, super engaging, like a quick memory that, again, like I'll always remember. It was just that yeah. random thing. I felt like we discovered it together. Um, but that was just in such sharp contrast to, hey, here's a, you know, a mob drop grind quest. Have fun for right. 
18 hours. I mean, can we be fair that nobody likes the mob <laughs> drop quest? I know. All right. All right, let me I'll let you go. Sorry. Let me throw this, this in there. So one thing I just want to preface, like say, is when the phases changed, they should have just started any new character or any existing character with all... When phase two launched, all phase one runes should have just been learned immediately. Or no. you had to stop. Or you had to go to your trader. I'm telling you, we talked about ways that people could like buy them, blah blah blah. It should have just if you're trying to keep people coming back, it should have just been put in. I'm as like, a catch up mechanic. Yeah, I'm I'm just like we can discuss it if you really want, but I if you say no cool i say they should have just done that and it should have only been the phase that was the whole point of of making the all the levels gated and that would have brought people back you could it, but either way we're talking about rune acquisition like we could all say that the dark riders was fucking stupid right we can all say that, right? But you didn't curse on this podcast. Yeah, I do it to put a point, and you know that point is. He's very does passionate about the dark riders. Agree? Okay, but did anybody have a quest or have runes as cool as the storyline for the rogue? Did anybody else play, play rogue? So, first off, Deadly Brew. I believe it was Deadly Brew. Yeah, no, that was a really cool one. Yeah, we had to go in... Well, I remember fighting, the... finding the Idol of Greed up in Northern Barrens. And, like, I had no idea what it was. Like, I was asking everybody for days. Like, because I, I wasn't clued in, but, like, and I didn't care enough. All I knew was I couldn't use it. You know, so, I, like, every once in a while, I could find a new cause. Like, hey, like, is this you? Like, you should go check it out. Like, <laughs> this looks like really cool lore. And then I finally found someone that's like, yeah, that's, like, half the puzzle. Like, I haven't figured out the next step. Basically, it was... It was the coolest rune in the game that I know of, but I haven't played all, all the classes. We had to start, and we first, in phase one, had to go into sh into Shadowfang Keep. You had to zone in solo. If you were in a group, it did not work. The mobs you needed did not show up. You had to go pickpocket two different mobs, and then put the, the two halves of the key together, could be a little off on like exactly what I did because it was a while ago. And then you had to open a lock box and you opened and got your uh, your thing. And then when you went out, you traded it out. Like everything you did in the open world was something everybody could do. There was no mob you had to find. There was no nothing. Like there was a chest right outside. And But what you had to do was you, you had to be a rogue. You had to... Mission Impossible. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 Like, it was awesome. And then in phase two, you had to go into Scarlet Monastery. It was the funniest, funniest quest ever. You got a disguise kit that you found out back of, of Scarlet Monastery. And you you put on the Halloween mask, mm -hmm. you know, of like... Everything's fine. Everything's of, normal. Yeah. Of being a human. And you put on the the uh, the outf the outfit, and you walk through Scarlet Monastery. Uh, RP walking required, of course. And yeah. the <laughs> library, and you figured out the quest as an incognito in disguise person. That's fun. And then in Zol Farak, you went and you. Uh, this is in phase three for the next part of the route, or for the next route, you went and you found different things that would put the boss to sleep and kill it immediately like a, like a potion that poisons him and kills him mm. and then you would loot these two different items and then you would go up on top and get the item it was the coolest thing ever it was the Zulfur Rock one was a little bit in depth thank sure. you Simon Eyes for uh, showing me how to do that but either way it was really cool and it really made your class feel like your class and you didn't have to deal with the rest of the open world. And I know people will say, oh, well, that's part of it. But if you have to deal with it in the open world, there should be a lot of different ways to do it. That almost sounds more like the Wizard Tower. Is that the thing? Mage Tower? Wizard Tower. Mage Tower. Are there, like, single-player challenges in retail that, like, are evergreen and they require, like, very specific, like skill showcases from the players in order to do the thing 
we're, we're a bunch of non-retail players. Yeah, I think they... Everyone's going to be like, yes, Mage Tower, that's a thing. I'm, thank you, chat. Appreciate you. Dragonflight, so. like, didn't they do, a, like, a, a solo dungeon thing or something? I don't know. It, it's an older uh, feature, but... Um, well, did yeah, anybody I, have a rune that cool that well, actually... So, like, you felt like a rogue sneaking into these different yeah, so Yeah, so the, the closest I can think of is when, the, during the four days that... Uh, the meta rune was bugged warlock, yeah. because the, oh, like the yeah. warlocks were traveling all around the world, like putting together. Like it, it felt like this puzzle. Like it even was... not being on a warlock, like it felt so cool. And of course, it was just a bug because like they needed to be able to loot an item from BFD, and it was listed as a party quest Whoa. instead of a raid quest. You know, like so. So it was a silly thing, but yeah. I think that bug spawned one of the most like fun yeah. mysteries of sod that we had seen but because they were just like are, do we have to go up to Fellwood? like you know are well, we gonna go to the dark whisper gorge and less runes that was but my then, question was do we have too many runes yeah but then I mean how many do we have well they could have been I, I don't know a hundred per, per class per class like yeah then you have like that's four a lot because when I saw the first list for phase one I hundred. thought that's a lot of runes There's for the first for phase, phase one, when we're yeah. gonna have the all these other phases they had to make a balanced druid one. They had to make a tank druid mm, one. Yeah. They had to make a resto druid one. But maybe so like less slots per phase. Rogues, they could make really fun ones and you had a lot of choice. Um, but hybrids, you were kind of fucked and put it... Uh, yeah, it sounds it, like it, runes it, are definitely like a point of contention. Yeah. It's both a good and a kind of a bad thing that they added. It's but fun experience. How they implemented it. Again, I, I think that the, the difficult part is the vehicle. Yeah, um, just to kind of hurry us along because we don't want to be up all night. What is working in Sod for, for you? Like, what is what we, is we? We. <laughs> I I would love oh, to go your to bed soon. Did, did you just do something to your hair? Because it looks amazing. I, I, oh no, you messed it up. Um, what is working in Sod? What do you think has worked like really well? And we should GDKPs. Yeah. yeah, it worked amazing in phase one. They did. No, they working. did that's something not, that they were. Not, that's, 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 that's they were not trying to. Again. They well, were trying to help the vocal minority of silly people. And not working. Yeah, but them, but that's and also a player. The that's a player invented system. I'm talking about from the devs. Okay. All right. Sorry, what's, but what's Sod would be more popular right now today if GDKP is were banned. So my answer is going to be bland. I think almost all of it has worked. Okay. Better than it has not worked. Okay. I agree. Do you um, think that they were... So here's the thing. Do you think that the runes... And I'm sorry, I missed a little bit of this, so you may have talked about this. But do you think that the runes are there, again, testing ground for... <laughs> no. Um, for what talents to add, right? Like, which ones did work, which ones didn't? Yeah. Well, I mean, half the runes sure. are worthless but still at the moment. Well, they're only worthless because we min max. The heck out of stuff, yeah, but which we always Although, will. But I don't know, like, that are like, definitely like way, worthless in PVE, like are, that are awesome are, yeah, in PVE. And I think there's place for yeah, that. But, but that's like good. the way the way I see it, like I'm I'm confident that if you were to look at like okay, like rune the rune system was an experiment. Like how are we going to integrate this into a more sustainable system? Um, like and if they were going to use talents as the long term vehicle, like I think I'm positive that there's been. Um, you know, some opportunity to see, you know, okay, maybe we put penance as the last talent in the holy tree instead and get rid of light well because who has ever used light well penance in the history of wow. Instead of discipline? Penance is a disc talent. Yeah. Oh. I'm aware. Oh. That's, that's why I said instead. Sacrilege. Look, that was just the Sacrilege. first that was just that was just the first one they gave my prayer of no, I am a prayer of men. Jordy's yeah. like, nope. <laughs> I, was, I was doing the same thing. I was doing the same uh, thing. But well, I love it. I, I, I take it all back. Prayer of men. No. How about that? I no, no. Palm, no. you we're gonna get away. You guys should add uh, ultimate penitence as the final disc talent. It's called uppies in retail, and okay. it is dope. What does it do? You f you grow wings, you fly in the air, That's and it. like you f I'm you, you fire a gajillion <laughs> penance uh, bolts at both friendlies and enemies around you. It's Ooh, like, it's like so fire, cool! It's, it's like, like the, a firework. Of it's numbers. like the Fourth of July. That's like a Final Fantasy. Oh. Like, 
Yeah. MMO. Yeah. I'm so, I am so dude. I am the, sold. I just I I I, I don't want to be negative about priests and yeah. And we are Sod, fucking god. Priests and Sod are so boring. Boring. They're, like they've got nothing, nothing cool. Changed. Okay. It's, it's they're like, not. Oh, the, they're not yeah. as boring as Wrath Priest. Uh, Okay, but I'm not, the, but we don't have to. We don't have to compare that. I, I, I'm just saying. He agrees. A lot of the other classes got some cool stuff in Sod, yeah. and Priest got Palm bouncing off heel, and that's yeah, about that's true. it. Which, don't get me wrong, is incredible. But sure, I, I, it was I boring. Want, I want more class fantasy. Like maybe yeah. give us Archangel, like in Kata. Like Archangel's right. cool. We get wings, so, stuff like that. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Though they were very like there was nothing. Exciting well, about the priest rooms. H- homunculi is the coolest one, sure. I think. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I don't know. I just annoying. It, yeah, it's not. It hasn't been implemented the best, but um, okay. We're, they have a mind of their own. Yeah. What else has been good for you, Mel, in Sod? Like, what do you think has been me. working? Yeah, he was at. He was looking at Sod. Well, he no, said no, no, no. Mel. We, we, he, he, oh, sorry. He, he answered. He said everything. Um, Mostly. Yeah. I think that I have very much enjoyed the level of progression. I've liked the like breaks in like and I've been playing the whole time, right? So I've enjoyed like going to twenty five and rating and like enjoying that and then going to forty. 40. <laughs> Thanks. And rating one. and enjoying that. Like I have very much enjoyed that. I had a pre stand a druid and I left my druid back there at the back. because um, my priest was I like priest. Um, but I think that I have enjoyed the runes. I think that they've been fun. They've given me those aspects of later expansions that I have liked, that I've been excited about then. I wasn't as excited about them because I was also playing the later expansions. And I think that's what kind of diminished the excitement of it is because they gave me penance or they gave me Palm, and I'd like just been playing Wrath or just been playing. Yeah. <laughs> so you're TBC, kind of right? saying what Jody's saying. Maybe that's why I've loved the Rogue. Like the gun talents on the Rogue are something that comes in way later, but it's worthless for PvE, but it's so freaking cool for PvP. Like so cool. But so many people don't even like PvP. So do you even, like, there's a bunch of PvP runes in. That no one even pays attention to, and uh, I don't know. I, I mean, think I, think so cool I think it's just, fine. I think it's fine to have PvP. Impactful. I think it's fine to have PvP and PvE runes. I think that that's a good system, right? Because I think that there is, you know, a lot of differences that you have to do, and I just focus more on PvE because that's what I enjoy. And I think what would have made it cooler to me is if there would have been things from expansions I hadn't played or I wasn't actively playing at the time right and but other than that I think it also gave me a different perspective it did get me into dungeons that I never ever wanted to be in before like sunken temple um you don't like sunken temple well I'm saying like before they made it a raid mm. the problem with did sunken you temple like sunken temple is that nobody knew Literally, there was one person, usually it was me, that had to go in, pull up the Wowhead article, do the things in the right order. Some jerk would click the statue, even though I told him, hey guys, I'm going <laughs> to click all the statues. You guys just don't do that. I, I have it handled. But they'd just do it and screw up things. So yeah, Sunday Temple was a pain in the ass. That's because of that. Same with... Same with BFD. That's why I called every raid that was going to be because it was all the bad dungeons. What was the, the hardcore killer? Are where no more? You could have jerks take uh, your stuff. Like, like, what do you mean? Like the BFD, dungeon that nobody did in hardcore. The candles and you've, you're wiped. Mm. Like one person would be like, oh, there's a gear here. Oh, there's another gear. Oh, there's, there's four gears here. And then all of a sudden you're engulfed by people and your run is done and you've lost. Like, And you can't get back there because the door closes. So it's like that was a, that was a crappy game mechanic that you literally had to just spoon feed people. And usually there was one jerk that would just do it anyway even after you told them. And same with Nomer. Nomer, you got lost. 
I love Nomer. Nobody, nobody ever does Nomer, but I love Nomer. Oh, yeah. But did you love Nomer in hardcore? You get yeah. lost. So no, Nomer, Nomer, I loved lost. Nomer because of how big it was. It felt like you were really mm-hmm. like retaking a capital city. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you didn't have somebody, so many you died. were probably the guy that knew like, like, to go well, around well, number. Be, yeah, because, because, because there are things sucked. like understanding like the verticality of it and like how you can like you know jump down between layers yep. to like mm-hmm. min max your strat, like understanding that you're going to have to come back, especially if you're alliance, like to be able to get back to that safe area and clean right. off your ring. Um, you know, and running with someone like you, you your that ring? Knew I don't even going know what that means. The, only time we ever the grime encrusted ring, or... like like understanding like just exactly where the bend is where uh you know a couple of dark iron dwarves are standing on top of the wall and then like if you aggro them if you're below level 28 um you know then you'll then like they'll aggro the guys below so suddenly off everybody but if you do that you know understand how to jump onto the ledge on the left side at just the right place so that you can evade everybody like, Correct. Yes. Understanding this is all why these I didn't like is no what made it, <laughs> is what made it really fun for me, like getting really, really into like the dungeon mechanics and like understanding yeah. how to get around uh, because it was so fast. But yeah, like if if like you were a person who only ever did no more once because it had a thirty three thousand like quest XP, right. you know, and then you were done with it. Like, yeah, of course you're going to hate it. You were leaving, like, the top. We were just happy to have somebody who knew where to tell us to go in Nomer. I did a really good Nomer hardcore guide. (laughs) (laughs) It had all that tech in it. (laughs) YouTube.tv, no, YouTube.com slash Jordy. Thanks, Bob. All right, Um, Parker, what did you love about Sod? Yeah. Mm, Um, In your brief experience. Uh, yeah, I, I I would say I would say I was I really loved Sod Phase One. I agree with uh, with a lot of what you were sharing, Mel. Uh, you know, I was playing a new class mm-hmm. with Druid. I had never really played Druid before. Yeah. Uh, I had never played Horde. Uh, I hadn't either. Either. Well, um, okay. So one of the things that I loved just thematically was that I kind of had the the triple threat of discovery mm-hmm. the whole time. You know, new class, new faction. Uh, new like ways to play. You didn't the game know with, what was different, yeah, right? I didn't know like what was that different. was the funny thing about playing Horde after playing Alliance for so long mm-hmm. is like you didn't even know what. Yeah, you're like, like is this different? Yeah, I no. I really I really loved. So like I was, I as you guys remember being at BlizzCon with me, uh, I played Priest both times in the two times that we played the demo. Yeah, and I wrote off Priest. I said this is boring. They gave us Wrath spells that we already have. Uh, we and, were playing and, at the time, and the and the mana is bad. Like I feel very unimpactful. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to look for a different class, and, that's, and that was one of the fan. big reasons why I decided to roll <laughs> Druid. And then they made Palm bounce off of any heal, mm-hmm. and my raid group was playing Damn. with uh, <laughs> Bev on Priest and me on uh, Druid, and his Palm sniped every single Everything. one of my rejuves. Uh-huh. So suddenly I was like, okay, I'm here to cast rank one rejuve on everybody. And then be a DPS guy, and I thought that was really boring until I realized, like, oh, this is kind of like an interesting hybrid mm. right. uh, where I get to play two roles at Dude, once. Druid it, in I, phase I, one was it, cool. It's kind of it, it's, it's like it's my priest remin- and Kata. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it's somewhat reminiscent of how a disc priest plays in Kata. Yeah, and I thought that that was like really, really cool. How like a brand new way was spawned out of uh-huh. this strange class interaction that at first I thought That's was true. really obnoxious because I was like. Like I want to heal. Yeah, like I, I signed up to heal. I wanted to be a resto mm-hmm. druid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did like I did grow to love it. I really really did. Uh, yeah, I I, did I, I am kind of I would almost bet that if I had stuck with druid instead of trying to swap to shaman because I was really enticed uh, by overload mm-hmm. chain heal interaction. Word, you wouldn't stop talking. About I know. <laughs> I wouldn't stop talking about it. Uh, I, I think that if I had stuck, <laughs> and, it, and it wasn't good, <laughs> it wasn't even good. I was like, it's going to be so good, like 50% chance I'm getting a crit, it's I'm, crazy. I don't think you guys realize. <laughs> like, yeah, we don't. <laughs> uh, but I think that if I had stuck with Druid, I probably would have stuck with Sop. Uh, okay. I think that's probably true. Yeah. Uh, it's not too late. When Phase did you, four. When did you switch off Druid? Um... I, w- I kept playing Druid through full phase one. I leveled, I decided to level my Shaman first mm-hmm. for that raid group that I talked about oh, earlier. Okay. I went through one raid and decided it wasn't for me. It was a tough thing. And, and, and yeah, and well, and I stopped playing WoW altogether for four months after that. Wow. It really scared And then you I came off. back for vanilla. Yeah. For vanilla, like classic era. Classic, classic era. era. Okay. Yeah. Okay. DB delight, baby. 
All right. Desperate house dads of TV at the light. Desperate house dads. <laughs> Is Shout that out! Band? Is, is that your yeah. guild name? No, 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 but we should it's just so yeah, should we should do it. I'll, I'll talk to Winky. Yes, please <laughs> All right. do. It. All right, with me and Parker as you know house That's husbands, only. possibly. Let's write a script. Desperate house dads. Sure. Desperate <laughs> house right. husbands. But, yeah. yeah, but I think it'd be funny True. if they were all dads. <laughs> they're all dads. <laughs> all right. But they're no. Add a little bit Sorry. of spice. <laughs> Same. Give it, give it a couple of years. Yeah. All right. Side, side phase four is coming out. This is this is kind of good. Whoa, 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 whoa. This no, is no. We have to. We, we have to ask Jordan. I don't want Who wanna... posed the question? What okay. is going well inside, Jordan? Yes, yeah, true. But I do want to get us on sure. the last yes. thing, the last topic, and I think it's the most important one. Um, I think that I really like uh, the overarching. Um, experimentation. I think that they are clearly really passionate about it, which is really exciting. Um, I so think, passionate. I think that they've done a pretty good job about balancing. Um, especially lately, I think that they've been a lot more um, pointed with their efforts, and I think that that's really cool. Do you, do you think Rage DPS should do more damage? Than oh my god. Like? I don't want to get into the specific. <laughs> I, I, it's here. We, we no. won't debate it, but what do you think? Yes or no? Should do more damage? I okay. So melee. I feel melee DPS has to be in the shit. They should do more DPS. No. They have to move to the boss no. if the boss moves. No, nope. too bad. So We're you? Done. He said so, no. no. You said don't debate so it. I mean, you do need. I think that you should. I mean, ideally, single yeah. Target. And and really, okay. uh, I mean, some should do more single target. Some should do more multi target. But uh, you should have encounters where. Either role has a job that needs to get done, and in order to do it, it plays to certain strengths. And so, mm -hmm. fights shouldn't be the same all the time. Like if it's a big ad fight, maybe a, a mage is better. If it's a single target fight, a mage maybe a rogue is better. better on a big ad fight. I think. Yeah, but <laughs> I think what you're saying you're is you're saying is. May they have a harder job because they're closer to the boss, but oh, I don't think standing on a dragon's ass is hard. Like, yeah. whereas it's like, sometimes harder but, to be a but caster. Usually, to be honest. the biggest damage in classic is around the boss, and if you have and uh, all and I also don't think the, that's true. The biggest reason for me is PvP. But they've oh, been so changing as, things. As someone, as someone who, uh, as three people, well, let me finish my thing. Yeah, but you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, as okay. three people who have to heal that damage, you're wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> as four people who have to heal that damage, you're wrong. No, you don't take the most damage. Nobody's wrong. In the it's the tank and then the casters who stand and fire because they don't want to cancel their frost so, hold. Okay. So okay. Agreed. I Welcome to the say, podcast with three priests. I four, say, uh, four priests. I would say I this is that's, amazing. That's really true. Uh, finally, the biggest <laughs> reason yes. that I believe this needs to be a thing is because of PvP. Because if if range does it. more damage, then there's no reason to be melee. But that's but they've actually addressed that currently in Sod. There's a 30% damage reduction from ranged in PvP and only a 20% damage reduction for melee. So they've listened and they've kind of adjusted that so that in the raid it could be better. And I and I think I didn't even think of that, but that was a great like like change. But either either way, where was we it didn't going want that? to debate this. The damn it, where was it going that would I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you're gonna have to dig yourself out of the slot. Yeah. So uh, we can we can just can we just go back to Jordy on what's good in SOT? No. I think, I think I'm, I, my answer was done. What what was your last question? Yeah. That, or are we moving yeah, on to, it, to the next thing? You okay. Were, so, so yeah, I was just asking you that one thing, and then I was asking you the question, David. Guys, I don't remember what the question was. We could we could cut this part out. Yeah. No, it is. Or not. No, it's funny. So there's no reason. I'm We're like, not cutting it. Dude, out. I don't mind being the uh, the uh, joke, but 
There, there was the question though. God damn it! If yeah, we was, had chat, chat would tell me before. you were you asking this. You didn't ask the question, so chat wouldn't have known. That was the next question you were asking. No, no, yeah. When I took us back, but I wanted to ask a follow up on that one. Well, let's let's Shit. let's do, let's work on the end game. Nah, uh, fuck it. Yeah. It's it's. Nah, uh, fuck it. Fifteen. All right. So, the last thing I really want to talk about is. I have hopium and copium and dopium and every opium, every, no. Well, hopefully not opium. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, the last thing we're going to talk about is phase four and my copium and hopium is on level nine. Sure. And what can we do to bring everybody back? Because I need everybody back. Um, for me, I think that, I mean, this kind of goes back to what we were talking about with like the you guys were like trying to parse whether like how to make the game appeal to more people and we were talking about the dev teams and all of that and I think it's ultimately and, and Mel made the point about the money thing and I, I don't think any of that stuff matters I just want them to make a good game and so if phase 4 is good the raids are fun the heat level is interesting the gear feels impactful but also um, hard to get hard to get <laughs> You feel like you're earning it. You feel like um, the time, together. yeah, and that the time you're putting in is being rewarded. Um, people will play it. Uh, I, I, I do think that something has been lost that's not going to be able to be regained. Like the the the, the phase three kata nexus point that really screwed up sod is going to permanently impact sod moving forward in the number department, but. There will be a bunch of people that come back and hopefully they learn a lot of lessons from it and then they can take whatever those lessons are into the rest of Sod and into whatever the next version of the game that they create is. Do you think Kata is... So, I think Kata is about to see a drop in Raiders and I believe this because I think a lot of people thought... Oh, let's just fully gear in normals and then we'll be able to do hard modes. And I think a lot, thousands and thousands of people are about to find out who oh, you can't do what it takes to do heroic, even though you're geared now. I don't agree. You don't think so? I think that the cat heroics have actually, from what I've been seeing, have people have been able to start taking them down in a way that uh, has been. Comforting is the word I, that comes to mind, but it's been uh, encouraging right. because uh, the I would say half of the heroics are pretty manageable, and it takes a long time for you to teach a raid how to play Kata. Like the game has changed dramatically from Wrath the, with the way healing works, the way tanking works. With and healers basically carry in well, Kata. Healers are your main are your main tank now. Healing is a lot more retail like than it was you know a few months ago because of Kata like. Health pools are a lot bigger. The amount of heals that you can actually output are a lot smaller. It's it's weird to be dumping heals into people and them not be topped off. Like, yeah, yes. yeah, it feels it's weird. Really, it feels but really weird. Challenging. But it's actually really rewarding once you start to understand. Okay, there's damage patterns and I need to predict them and uh, hit certain breakpoints. And oh, now's the 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 big pump. I'm gonna use my divine him or my tranquility or my spirit link, and then all these things start to come together. And then you hit this next point where it's like oh. This is how Kata works. It's like these are the cooldown management, all that stuff, and it's it's exciting. And I never got there though, Jordy. Well, I think is the thing. You keep playing, but fuck. Back to I would decide to do better. But back to what Kata's gonna suck. Well, back to what <laughs> Only was saying, where it's like, I think that Kata is going to turn me into a retail player because it's more retail like, and I think that it this is. is probably is that the path probably then? Probably been their goal the whole time was to Rugs get us all back, moving that direction. yeah, get us all back onto the bandwagon because I've been so against it all these years, and now I feel like oh, are they that smart? Well, they're smart. Yes, they're, I think so. They're definitely smart in that if we're playing the game, they're winning. Which right, so are well, we, sure, sure, but you know that's what they want, and if we if they can over time convert us into you know back into the fold and great and they put so many resources into this game that they want us all to play but we're resistant because we're close-minded or boomers or whatever we right are. 
you know, now I feel like I'm much more capable of doing that, which is really good. You're, so, you're only playing. That's the problem with, with. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that everyone knows that the raids have always been amazing throughout all the yeah. retail expansions. Yeah. It's just the game itself as a whole sucks ass. But you have transmog, whoa. you have oh my a God. bad world, you have flying, you have warping to yeah. everything well, you want to do. Well, some of the that, systems have been so slogs like, too. I, I mark my words, Cataclasmic. If I can make an eighty-five of any character and only do uh, her, do your dungeons, her heroics, and raids. I would love that because the rest of the game is literally dog shit. That's how I that's how I feel. And I don't you worked up six priests. I Did mean, you love that? I mean you 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 said dungeons, heroics, and raids. That's like seventy five percent of the game. Yeah. So it's like you you're saying the rest yeah. of the game is dog shit, but it's, it's Yeah, that. but I don't wanna I wanna play multiple characters in raids in G D K Ps, but I do not want to work them up. I mean, and do you want to work them up in classic? Pay for a boost. I don't know. Like, do it, you want to work them up in classic? Mm-hmm. No, you don't. Yeah, I've worked up a ton of characters. I know, but you don't love the workup process. You don't love yes, leveling. Yes, I do. We quest all the time. Yes, and we have a when good time. we level together, sure. Okay. Because I love leveling. I do like leveling yeah, do. during the day solo with chat. If I didn't have chat, I wouldn't want can, to do it. Can I go back to the original question about? And I've got an answer to this, but I'm interested to hear from the from the others first. The original question: um, How to save Zod? How to? Yeah. What What would make <laughs> yeah. Zod face for good and make people come back? Perfect. Levi, because I've got I've got a. Easy, simple answer. Well, I think that you're going to see no, some influx like, because Kata's hitting phase two, which is pretty. There's not, not much that's being added, right? Just two, two, uh, two five, man, two five mans. Pretty hype. So phase, phase two, Z A and Z G. Yeah, they so need it's, to make oh, it like, it's they need to make it like three weeks and then go right into fire. Yeah, so we'll see oh, how long okay, that is. Okay. But if that's I didn't if that's that. any kind of extended time, I think we'll see some people coming back to Sod from there. Are, I don't think the question is. So, so you you think a short Cata Phase Two is what'll save well, Sod Phase Four? Well, to bring people back, maybe. Okay. I mean, I, I think. You How gotta, about to make people stay? I don't know. Do you enjoy? I think the Kata? rates have to be hard. Do you enjoy Cata more? Than yeah. Okay. Hard raids, so, but, but, really? Yeah, well, the maybe, raids are maybe, easy. Maybe with the three t- uh, difficulty tiers that they're adding to Molten Core. Do you think that's a be. good That'll choice? Help. Um, no, I think it's a horrible choice. I didn't ask I, I, I think it's a good choice if they're not um, increasing the quality of gear. They are not. They are not. Just you the frequent, just the no, drops. No, 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 and I, 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 more I, I, gear and you'll have on. more chance to get like the big ticket items. Hold on, yeah. So, okay. I'm aware. <laughs> I think that... <laughs> I think that that's a mistake. Did you breed well, I want to know when, and I, I think that back. they should not. I think, not I think that they should not add anything more on top of that. What, what, what I think to rule them all. What I think would bring me back, for example, because uh, that's all I can really speak to, is to recapture the meaningful, uh, rewarding feeling that Jordy was talking about about what it means to be able to get gear and progress your character. Uh, I have felt looking at Sod and really looking at all forms of classic that we are converting to a conveyor belt uh, that feels very retail and that's one of the things I don't like about retail. I have to agree with um, you with that one. I raided every single lockout on that druid and I never saw, not that I ever won, I never saw Sleepwalker's Rod. Uh, never saw it once. Would you also in a raid? I know, it was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, not I'm not done, I'm not done. I, I thought that that was really cool. Like you that was I, cool? I would complain about Workers it every lockout, but I thought it was really cool. Like I thought that it made it special. And I have such a fear that things like the like tier three hard modes will make everybody gets Fury. everything. Everyone gets a Thunder Fury. Yeah. You know? well, okay. Everyone gets Natiesh, and I think that that is just like everyone gets Scarab Lord. Like I think that that's just yeah, I don't love so that. Hold on, hold on. Am I terrible? Wrong? I think that's that, too. Yeah, like yeah, they did Made that. Shards drop, you know, exactly. Here, more and longer. And everyone gets their shadow more, and like yeah. I think that that is a bad take. I think that like everybody wants to be like the special chosen one, and I 
I think that it's bad when everyone gets to be. Listen, which as a disc priest in rap, I was really glad guys, what it is. I got a value. Can yeah. somebody clarify? <laughs> I believe what I understand is the fire, the, like the heat levels are literally heat levels. You need more fire res to do them. Is that, that not right? Uh, we don't, okay, we don't know. That's speculation. Okay, cool. All right. I think that I agree to a certain extent, but I don't know. I, I feel I like what was actually your, your, like your reason? I, I really like, what would wow. bring you, what would <laughs> bring really you back? You. So here's the thing. What would bring you back <laughs> is. You fights me. I love it. What would bring you back is not having gear drop. Um, no, ha- no. Having the gear drop feel Nobody earned gear. and rewarding. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I want nobody to get gear ever. <laughs> no, okay. Let, let me take you back to uh, 2020 when I started. I, I, I took my sweet ass time. I was like managing a, a campaign at the time. Like I, sure. I got to level 60. Or I started leveling in like May. I got to 60 in November. Mm-hmm. Um, I stopped playing until the following May. Um, Did you love I, leveling? Uh, I had an all right time. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I started playing again. I got into like some Molten Core pug. Uh, I decided I wanted to be a dagger rogue because I thought that it was just cool class fantasy. Uh, you know, I'm working on understanding how to be good at DPS, how to parse. Rogues are um, horrible. And, you know, I log in every day trying to get my, you know, distracting dagger uh, or mugger spell to get the, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, to get my dagger skill, and I'm just praying for age core leather gloves. You know, it it drops twice the, the first plus, month. The I'm plus at, I'm, three to daggers or plus five to daggers. Yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, it drops and, twice and, and no in the first month that I'm looking for it. But like hunters take it because it was an MS OS plus one system, and like it was one like it always dropped off right. like Madar. You know, and I kept losing it to these hunters, and I was like, they don't even need it as bad as I do. Like I was getting pissed, right. and then it didn't drop for like three months. You know, and I was like, I was just in shambles. I was like, what am I going to do? You know, but then I got into uh, like BWL. Like I got into like ZG. I got into AQ40. Like I moved on. I got better gear. Right. Like, but having those goals, like even when it didn't go my way, even when I like felt like I was being cheated, you know, by the system or by players, like it, it was really rewarding to have these goals that I was going after. And it made like the sweetness of like, yeah. Of getting gear in ZG or in AQ40, like so much better. Listen, you know, like I've I, I, never. I, it, it felt epic, as I think the the word, like the the tier of loot should feel. Like in legendary, like in come sod, on. Like you can't just give sod, it out. I've never had full this. Never. Yeah. So, like, yeah. so I, I never got the mushroom in Sod said, either. It yeah. never dropped for me either. Like two, two of my best items. I did. Items. Never what I'm saying. The, so here's what I'm saying, the though. The nail Stop. did not drop for an, our entire raid. It yeah. dropped while I was here. Okay. Bobby, what I'm saying is that, like, if I raid every week and I have not gotten full bis ever mm-hmm. in Sod... How much more do you like? How much I've never more had full bis do ever. you want? But if you want full bis, you you run split. Bobby, am I right? Like I'm not talking about. I'm asking him. He okay. said Go. he would bring back not getting your gear. Yeah. Yes. And so I've, I've never been full bis, and I've raided every freaking lockout. Correct. Since so I'm saying I've never had full gear. Yeah. So I don't. I don't, I don't think anybody know. who has a red splits has ever had it. So you're saying most people aren't getting that anyways already. So I'm saying gear. like how much more do you want gear to be specialized? Because I feel like it is pretty rare. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I mean I I think that there are people who do get full bis. Right, but they're the min maxers like Jordy over here with six priests. But, but if we have a raid that's going to give three times a loot, then that's going to change. Yeah, like if we have okay. if we ever if we have so a raid where you can turn up the, the difficulty and like you know give like an extra ten percent of your like bindings chance, I think that that's a sham. Fair. Like, I agree because I think that the min maxers are going to min max no matter what, and they're going to get better gear than us fine. no matter what. We don't need to in like. I, I'm not. Yeah. Even more. I'm, I'm not saying. Re, I'm not saying reduce 
loot chances. I'm saying preserve the system that has been there that like we all came to 2019 sure. classic for. Well, I okay. think I think that the I've talked about this before, but I think that the the loot system that we came to 2019 for is a nostalgia piece that has been long gone from the game. No one cares if you're the dude holding a Thunder Fury in Iron Forge anymore. Um, you want to be a hot shot at the game, you prove it with the logs, you prove it by being in a top end guild and going fast. Um, and that's that is the new cool guy in Iron Forge. I don't new think meta. loot in specific is as coveted or as cool to get anymore, which is why I'm kind of okay with the higher loot drops because it's like it gives everyone the opportunity to get those dopamine receptors pumping, and then like no one looks, no one, no one like looks at somebody and they're like, "Damn!" But that was one of the cool part about hardcore servers was because it brought back that old school yeah. 2004. Yeah. yeah, I felt so like, cool having the corn staff on a hardcore character. Yeah, like, and that was when, super cool. When Ellen Degen had Thunder Fury on hardcore, yeah. she was like one of two people on the planet mm -hmm. that had it. And that was cool, even with Petri cheating and stuff, you know, like, wink, wink. But, <laughs> um, cheating. Yeah, well, but... Uh, Collusion. I, I, I think still, when it comes... I still hold that that was a bad design choice. But yep. I agree, I agree. Yeah. But I think um, in terms of, like, loot and, like, the design choice, I think it's just we're just chasing an environment that doesn't exist anymore mm -hmm. in classic and it never will. And I don't, I think it's just we all want it to be that way because yeah. we were kids and it was like, I, and I don't think I it's Blizzard, it's us. And, and maybe, and it's maybe always, that's why I, I the like, reason it won't exist is because of us. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. why I hold on to that distinction between classic and vanilla. Yeah, I, I plus think. And plus. Yeah. So, are you saying everybody should get this? I think everybody should get this, but I think See, it should I still be earned. With you. I agree with you. I think people shouldn't get this. I think they, I think it should be earned, and I think you should be able to. It should be achievable to get your this, because what you do with it doesn't. It doesn't like having that full this is cool. It's, but it's like it should be like you know several lockouts. You should get yeah. game time yeah, in. Like, it well, should be hard. You yeah. get this if you loot the items to you and you're you're like a guild leader, or if you run splits. Yeah. I just don't think it should be achievable, and that's fine. I mean, I ended full. I ended classic wild full this every single item except for the two coolest, the two swords on my <laughs> on my warrior. But I had every she was other important piece pieces. <laughs> but there was no way I yeah. had enough. G, uh, we did DKP. There was no way I had enough to get it. I could go back on my character still there. I copied him because I was smart. But it doesn't mean anything now. And guys, you play the guys. You you play era. I know it means a lot to you. I'm a different player. It doesn't mean anything to me now. I needed it then, not now. And I could go back, I could get those pieces, but I'm not going to. That character ended, he is a mu a museum piece, a fun thing to show chat that I could heal for 2K damage every five seconds with my <laughs> healing set. Like, but it but Dumb. it's okay. I I almost beat the game. Almost. And that's good enough for me, and that should be good enough for everybody. You if didn't you know. expect this. And you didn't even almost because you didn't get Scarab Lord. Yeah. Well, so, like, Winky, I think. No, that, yeah, no. So there is no beating the that game. That is not beating the game. That is being a. That is getting bug brain. That is yeah. being a GM or a content creator. But, <laughs> well, I was neither at the time for the Yeah. I think a big distinction uh, to draw is. Like you're talking about uh, a player created like progression system in logs, and I've been very fortunate uh, to play classes and roles that don't need them. I play healers and tanks. Yeah, you I'm know? sorry, yeah, you're not in 99 parts. Healing, healing is adversarial, right? Um, but, 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 but but I but I, I do agree. With, I do agree with you with that added layer. Like, yeah, there's next progression system. When yeah. when I look at it, and I think that it's a, it's definitely a reductionist view. Like. I see no reason to get my bis so that I can raid with no purpose. Yeah, you know, yeah, and I think other, the purpose is is defined by the raid group. Because, because, because you like, get bars, because you get like bars. In, yeah, I find like going fast yeah. fun. Yeah. Sure, yeah. but That's what like I see less fun. replay value than like trying to like work on my character, and, and probably goes back to Jordy's takes about like me really enjoying the RPG elements of uh, of WoW as an MMO. 
you know, like I really yeah. like investing in my character and feeling like my character has something to, to yeah, work and that's, on, that's not valuable. just me as a player. Yeah, and that's fair. Yeah. And that is the kind of way, like, I don't, I can already see people in the comments section being like, Winky just wants you to be able to spawn in with full Winky. base on your level 60 no character. Cares about the comments like, section. day one. And that's not what I want at all. It's like, only I, would it rather us be, go into Molten Core 100 have to, strong at level one and die yeah. instantly. Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should still be able only to. Only wants like, us to go back to the town every totally freaking time we have to do anything. anything. Just no, make it harder. It should be like earned. Like, you should still get those rare toe up items, you know, like the things that are sought after. But like, and the harder versions of MC should be hard. Yeah, and I just and think, that will be earned. Yeah, and I just think that like, it, in my personal opinion, the gear doesn't matter as much anymore as like the guild tag even that you have. Like, I, like I don't, I don't like run through town and being like, oh, this guy's got like aged corehound. Look at his dagger; he's like full base for this phase. It's like instead, it's like oh, that person's in this really prestigious guild that's that's known for being good at the game, so they're probably pretty yeah, good at the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just like it, sure, if you're not a parse junkie and you you know you enjoy healing, you can so, still have self progression healing every week and try and do a better job and like you know go faster and heal the people that are trying to do more damage. It was a really funny part say, about Swamp. Are we on? Because we were in Swamp, but we weren't, like, in Swamp, right? Like, we were just kind of, like, gifted in. I and then raid. Now. Oh, okay. But at the beginning, right? Yeah, like, I only people let would, raid because people would I had group six with us and be like, oh, they're from Swamp. And we're like, we're not really. No, from Mel, swamp. you are totally messing up your timeline. You are thinking of Frontier. Oh, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Wait, was that hardcore? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, we, we were, were in Frontier, in and Frontier. they would group up with us no matter what. And, and we were everybody like, everybody kissed our ass and licked the ground we like, walked on. It was they, hilarious. They were like, were you we in the were world in first? The uh, this, yeah, and we were like, weird time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah uh, they licked our boots. It was whole. It was hilarious. But I will say, we're talking about parse monkeys. It's the biggest problem. What you should use your parse for is you should use your parse for seeing your number grow week by week. You, you, and only you. It doesn't matter if your number's a 76, if you jump to that's, an 80, that's that not is true. a good... No, because you're... Because, disagree, Bob. You're you disagree. Because the guy that has a 99, <laughs> the guy that has a 99, fucked four sure. other people sure. in his freaking raid to get that 99. Yeah. But your or parse? they let him do it that week and then they get the 99 the next week. That is how it works. Here's the Nobody thing. parses a 99 Fake victories. What That's I'm, the way it works. What I'm saying is that you can get better and your parse <laughs> could not increase because your parse is a percentage of, and I don't even know I this. Why Shadow Priest ain't getting buffed? Suck it. I think. Okay, um, I don't even know this because I am a healer, so I don't parse. But yeah. what I understand yeah, I is that it's a it's a parse based on the percentage of people. Correct. Yes. So you could get ten percent better, and you could increase your parse by one percent. Yeah. Correct. If everybody else did better. Though. Yeah. If yeah. everybody else did better I, I, that week, if everybody else used the cheese strat that week yeah. and you didn't, you might do worse. You might do worse, but you maybe were doing better yeah. for your raid. But but okay, maybe, maybe hold on. You I gotta let's rewind. I'm, I'm just gonna jump in. I'm gonna go to bed because yeah. I'm losing it. But yeah. do you like parsing? I think parsing has its place. Yes. Okay. Um, good night. Thank good night. you everybody for having me. Yeah. I'll see you all in the morning. I, I also have to drive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're yeah have you do have to drive World, home. Good night. Uh, Bob will be back. He's in the bathroom, but see you later. Good old Bye. Bob. Good night. Good night. Thank you for having me. TLDR's parses are an analytics tool. They should be used however your guild wants to use them for whatever they want to do. So with winky. Them. What's up, Miss Dora? Are you looking forward Sweet. to playing after your little break? Yeah, I am. I'm previous previous farming on my so, Deviant Delight road. So we haven't talked about Deviant Delight. I don't what are you excited for? Oh, I okay. don't want to get into it. Okay. It's too late. It's like almost one in the morning already. You guys are playing Horde. Play yeah. Horde. Play okay. Horde. It's a really fun server. Deviant Delight is a classic area. It's community not too fresh. Are you sure? 
It's yeah. not too late at all. It's not too late at all. You can just be along a long run. Like it's like two, two raid teams. Yeah, there's like two raid teams on Horde that have cleared Molten Core one time each. Cool. Um, there's a lot going on. They're doing PvP events, um, like like role playing style yeah, PvP like events. Giveaways. Like, Really cool stuff. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, they do a lot of cool stuff on Deviate. It's been a fun experience. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for Saad. I'll continue my Warlock tank. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'm yet to hit 85 on Kata. I've been to 84 for like three weeks. I can't do it. I can't play Kata, man. <laughs> no? Dude, it's like a... It's leveling as far as like questing is like... A poor man's Star Wars The Old Republic. I, I know they get better later on, but it's literally the same time Star Wars The Old Republic came out and Star Wars yeah. The Old Republic did what they tried to do better. I think that, I've, I, I just, I've, I swear it's like Cataclysm, like classic is a trilogy, in my opinion. Yeah. The main character of Vanilla Wow, Arthas, is the world of Azeroth. <laughs> Cataclysm the, kills the main character. Yeah. And then your character becomes the main character, and then I don't like it as no. much. And that's you, just you, well, you're no longer an adventurer, you're a hero. You're a hero. And that's the that's what I hate about you're it. You're a hero. Yeah. I love single player games where I'm the hero. Well if you I okay, don't want WoW to be that. Go back go back to the human starting zone in in vanilla WoW. Make a human character and listen to the cinematic when it talks. The last sentence of that cinematic says the warriors and heroes are off fighting the horde, so the defense of the Eastern Kingdom relies on you, mm. the nobodies. Like, you are yeah. the person who just lives there. Yeah. And you're, like, starting out... You're the blacksmith, kind of you're the tailor, patch, or whatever it you is. You know, like, you're just doing your little... And they don't regard you as, like, the hero of the world. Like, no, you're just some you're dude. nobody at the beginning. Yeah. And the, it, the heroes are the Theramore Marines yeah. at, like, Nightwatch Keep. Yeah. Or, and, or what, whatever that uh, castle is yeah. in the, the Barrens. And, and, like, and, like, and you... It's the NPCs. And to yeah. do difficult things, like, you have to group player. up with... Like, to kill Hogger, you have to group up with, like, four other nobodies. Yeah. Like, you don't have the power spike. And, of course, you can, like... I can't do 666 and, damage. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. I like the the... The classic feel, and that that get lost, it gets lost in TBC, it gets lost in Wrath, and yeah. it is beyond lost in Kata. So I don't know, Kata is what it is. It's fun if you enjoy it. Yeah, it's I just, just a different game. I I can't it's get really, it. Yeah, it's, it's I've just also evolved. yet to meet somebody who tells me anything that Kata does better than retail. Than retail. Than retail. That's okay. a weird. That's a weird. What yeah. What does Kata do better than retail? The talents. The, okay, the talents, talents are still better. Specifically, better have you have talent. you done drag, dragon really? dragonflight talents? No, BFA is the last one I did. So I guess that's that's a fair point because they, they did change them a little bit, right? Yeah, they Fucking changed them a bunch. Yeah, dragonflight talents are Good sick from what call. I've seen. Like you have back yeah. back to talent trees. See, yeah, but they're yeah, weird I, I leveled a couple trees. characters on. Like I didn't do any endgame stuff, but I leveled a couple characters on retail. I really enjoyed the talent system. I thought it was yeah, really, okay. really and neat. I, I know really, people, I didn't get in. To it, like, I, I liked. I liked how you had like the base class talents and then your specialization talents. Like, yeah. I thought it was really cool to need to balance them. Mm. I don't, I don't like to, to choose between three paths and each one. You could like cross back and over and when, weave when, your way through to like a functional okay. end. When I, I asked really that cool. question, though, I don't mean it to like put cata players down or retail players down. I just view, and this is like a serious question. I've asked several people to tell me like, what's the draw to cata that you're playing cata for? That you can't do in retail, and the only thing that they've said is that the arena system is better. I've heard Cat is one of the best PvP. Yeah, systems and that, that raids was. are just cool. I don't know. Like they're though. good raids, which is true. They are good raids, but like everything's been good raids. I think I, that in as, retail there's as, good as raids. As soon as Eon took over, it's probably just the people that did I play raids. with. Is it that the only the, difference, it could right? Be the people, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's an interesting could thought be. process because, like, eventually we're going to get into mock. Yeah, we're going to get into other versions of. Well, classic. let me take you back and, to and the talents. Well, but let before me, before he does, I need to drive home. Yeah, we're uh, gonna so have, I've got to go. Um, yeah, we're winding yeah, down. Yeah, I am. Yeah, a, I am are, up in about five five hours to. Yeah, we are definitely winded down, but. Uh, we going to sign you up. Where can we find you, um, Parker? Uh, on a Discord call on somebody else's stream. Well, you no, were yeah. supposed to say he's a retired streamer right now. Slash Jordy. I, I, oh, uh, Patreon.com slash Jordy <laughs> to get your guides <laughs> and your uh, yeah 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 that. 
You've been yeah. working so hard on plug it. I have. Uh, yeah, buy our, our quest deck guide. <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal it off of Reddit. Please. Yeah. Please. Yeah, dude, it's five bucks, guys. It's five bucks. You got this. Um, but yeah, it's been a delight. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks right, for having me. Well, I'll, I'll we'll see all of you in the morning. See I, won't, you I won't see the podcast chat in the morning. But yeah. 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 Well, thank you yeah, yeah. for showing us rad. Yeah, it's all, us it's only twelve forty three. It's late. Right. Yeah. It's, it's late. late. And pause. it's only. All right. So I want to talk about what you just said about the talents about about retail versus Kata, and you can even look at Mop. These are three different talent setups that are way different. And mm -hmm. retail, I guess, from what I understand, got rid of talents for a while. Dragonflight brought them back. Yeah. Well, when I came into Dragonflight, I tell you the biggest problem is boosts. I bought Dragonflight, and my my first option was I made one of those dragon things, mm -hmm. Dragakir or whatever, and I was like this huge strong guy and everything was was basically i just walked through everything and everything felt right because that's what they had done for that expansion but mm -hmm. then mel comes in and we both have a boost that you know came with the yeah. with with the expansion so we all of a sudden boost up and we've got this huge like when they redid the talent trees why did they have to make it oh, it's massive. ginormous, massive? It's like pew. Kind of like Diablo. Stuff, yeah. And, yeah. and it's like yeah. Yeah, and we should have been forced to start at at level one, so we could have slowly done those things, which would have made sense. Well, I mean, they it's interesting. Can boost in Kata too, right? But everybody no, that but has it, already done it. Doesn't uh -huh. want to start at level one. Nobody like, that's cares about that. You're trying to grow your mm. game. Like they are already cap level. Fine. This Go is ahead. what Mad Season talked about. The level boost is absurd and stupid. And yeah. it should only be allowed to people who have already worked up something in that expansion, not somebody coming back. And that's where the talents failed there. Now, well, I'll tell you where the talents failed in Kata is they're freaking lame and boring and short. And you have to go down to one thing before you put talents into everything else. Talents in Wrath and before are going to be bis forever. That's how I feel I, about talents. That was my retort. I mean, now you yeah, can do your I, retort. I think talents in general are goofy. And, mm -hmm. and like in vanilla... They were beautiful, right? They're cool. There's a lot of different They're like rugged. little like each class has like I don't know like three or four specs that are like viable ish for whatever you want to do. But ultimately, I can see why they veered away from talents is because like once it, the information was out there that this is the best setup for what you want to do, there's no point. Did. You just copy and paste it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. I will I will retort with Simon Eyes uh -huh. figured out things in classic that were never figured out prior. Yeah. And then on top of that, yeah, but the then classic Simon I figured player, that out and I just copied and pasted it. The <laughs> the classic player base figured out stuff about death night that even private servers didn't figure out about wrath. Well, I cool. guess the retort that's though cool. is like, that yeah. Simon like wouldn't have been able to figure yeah. that out yeah, if true. it wasn't an option. Yeah. You know? True. True. But I I do think that there is a point where we have to accept that we will min-max the fun of every game. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it's not their job to... Stop us from doing it. Yeah, to yeah. stop us from winning the fun out of every game. Yeah, and I think it'd be you cool. You just made my point. Thank you. It would be You're cool to, to see, like... Um, I like having the option available for people that are new or, you know... Like they don't care about the meta because like we live in such an echo chamber being mm -hmm. on Twitch or being on Wowhead or whatever it is. There's like a very large player base that just doesn't care. Yeah. Like they work nine to five. They get home. They, they don't listen to this podcast. Yeah. They don't look at YouTube. I yeah, play with so fun. many people that don't know who any, they don't yeah. know who Sarth is, Scotty J, anybody. Yeah, it's cool. I would almost pay money if I could go back into that mindset yeah. and just be like, oh, you know what? I use um, daggers a lot. 
on my rogue. I'll click on this button that improves my dagger damage. Like right. that would be cool yeah. to go back in time because now I'm just like, oh well, no, if it's not, That's if you're not leveling his combat and then, right, and then respecking at 44 and like it's just That's you know. That's what I'm doing in Sod. I'm literally making like hunter like. There's all these other hunters using the min back shit, mm-hmm. and I'm over here doing a mix between ranged and melee. Yeah, it's and fun. I'm literally carrying games every game I play on my hunter. I'm like top kills, yeah. and I'm guarding half of the time. And it's because these guys come in, they try to dead zone me, and, mm-hmm. and it's like this is where he realized he fucked up because I hit him with my two hander <laughs> and no hunters using the two hander. Yeah. Like, and I'm just destroying people. And that's, what's so cool about I Sod. Think, I think that that is a virtue of Sod. Like uh, yeah. I had a lot of fun coming up with like an open world, uh, warlock. Yeah. Farming spec. You were doing really farming fun. things. You were, you were and, like, that was cool. I had fun. And, and like, that was where dual spec was cool too. Like I, yeah. I could switch to, but Rage nobody was then, looking at that yes. content, though. Oh, which, it wasn't too bad. Like, made you like, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I don't they, know. they liked it, you know? I, I mean, the, the Warlock I mean, I AOE farming it. video, I think I had like 40,000 views or something. Yeah. It did all right, um, for, especially for me. Why did you keep going? I did. I mean, I've watched them all. Yeah, you've probably seen them. But you haven't. I haven't you, uploaded you, in like a month. Yeah, yeah. I've been well, very, yeah. very doing But that's and not. Stuff. That's not because people didn't watch it. But it's that's because I saw it just kind of fell off for yeah. me. I, I took a break. I, me and I mean, only Black Smoke said earlier we both took about the same amount of break, the same amount of time. And now I'm just on air, like vibing. It's so yeah, fun. you're having fun. Yeah, and I'll play Sod and do Molten Core, and then go back to Era and enjoy it. And well, and you know. you've been playing Era. What like ev- a bunch of people got to answer? What could save Sod? you know, phase four, like what could bring people back? And mm-hmm. a lot of people focused on on just the game in general. What could bring new players in? Bring new players in is tough. I'm mm-hmm. sure Blizzard has a oh, an- marketing and analyst team that you, comes up with that. You weren't here when I said it. Everybody hated it, but I said <laughs> every phase... Because we've talked about all kinds of catch-up mechanics. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm done with that. Every phase, phase one, if you're in phase two, you make a new character or you have an existing character, they have all phase one runes, period. Done. I I think that they should be on a vendor, for sure. Or account bound. If you've done it on a class once, you can just... Do mm, you, but if a new them. player who hasn't played SOD at all comes in... Uh-huh. Do you really want to have it on a vendor or just boom, it's there? I think a vendor would be cool. Okay. Or or maybe a secondary type class trainer type thing, like a glyph hunter. Maybe there's like they add the archaeologist into the game and he sells glyphs that he's found along the way or something. Like something goofy. Cause like I, I can't lie, like yeah, even in phase two, I made a paladin on wild growth because I'm playing on Crusader Strike. And like Leveling a paladin, I couldn't get a group to do divine storm like at all. Mm, I had to wait till I was max level and then go back and solo too. it. In phase one, that was that's yeah. Like phase one, phase everyone one, was doing it. Was it. So but in fun. phase two, like everyone just lost, like forgot about it, and then <laughs> it sucked. You know, if you're coming back for sad phase four and you haven't played, no, I'm talking not you. Someone's coming back for sad phase four. Mm-hmm. And they've never played, and they're like, okay, I'm ready to play now. Yeah. Can you imagine the, uh, oh, shit, the Nightmare, not Nightmare, uh, the Black, the one where you have to run. The Rider. The, oh, the, the Dark, Dark Riders. Riders. Can you yeah. imagine what that's going to be like for a new player? I mean, I, yeah, 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 it'll be, I mean. Should they do that? It depends, because the, the min-max world we live in, they might not even need that rune anymore. Right. Some uh, some classes don't like. Yeah. On you know, my like, we druid for that's another thing about the, you know, having all these runes for the different you know hybrid classes. Yeah. Druids would be like, well, that's a 
feral rune. Yeah, I'm not I, ever yeah. gonna play that because I know I did. All, I did my alts, and it was like some of them you just don't even need. Yeah, but for like all any runes, on. I'm I don't pretty have sure. Runes. Jack no, Gita, any, here, uh, any character. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure every non-hybrid character needed that uh, Dark Rider rune. No, prison. I can't even remember Priest what is a hybrid for. character, Melissa. Okay, because we can be shadow or you could be heel. you could be two different heels or shadow right, damage. Yeah, that's a hybrid. What's a it's non-hybrid? Not as, a non-hybrid is a hunter, rogue, a apparently. rogue. So hunter, rogue, hunter. No, rogue no, is rogue hybrid now. now. Oh, yeah, rogue is mage. So you're right. Hunter? Oh, I got schooled. Okay, it's only hunter now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because mage can heal. But warrior needed it. Rogue needed it. Warlock and tank. Hunter yeah. needed it. Rogue and tank. Wow. And then... Try that to, is funny. I'm trying yeah. to think of who... Did you tank the best. on Warlock? Yeah. Yeah, I do the Warlock. Yeah. He, it's really he, fun. He tanked my raid a couple times. Yeah. I did a... Yeah, I did. I had my own raid for a little bit, and then I joined Bob's raid, and then bounced around, did some raids with C-Dank. It's been nice. fun. Like I like Sod. It. I see think it's definitely tanks a... for my Bob or for my raid with my Hunter Bob. Oh, yeah. Red. Yeah. Are you coming back yeah. for Phase Four? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be playing. I won't be there for launch because I'll be at a rave. That's but... fine. Are you doing in Swamp? Yeah. And I'll be. I'll be around. There's a even. lot of people wanting to tank. I I'm pretty mind. sure I'm going to just main tank my yeah. my raid because I'm tired of like. I I can't. But what? What I can't. I, back? I can't. Because like, I know a lot of people like Shobek was like the face of Sod, and then Shobek is still fighting us daily. He quit. Oh well. He's playing Era. Oh well. He quit. He's fully done with Sod. Oh, he. He said he's us. not even gonna play Phase Four. Huh? Mm. Interesting. That's he's, he's new because forty something on Era right now. Literally was fighting him like a week ago. Yep. It's been very recent. He's been very. He's been a thorn in Swamp side. Is that yeah. the answer then? Is that streamers will have to bring people back? Um, no, I think honestly, I think Sod has a pretty large retail player base. A lot of retail you players. Think? Yeah. I mean, well, a lot of the people that I know, at least, are retail only. They don't like classic. But they're playing. They're trying Sod. They've been trying Sod because it's just something new. And I think retail players specifically just like the idea of like doing something that's never been done or like something new. Yeah. So at least it's like a middle ground. Like they, they get to enjoy it. But um, then we'll lose them when we'll lose them. the War Within comes. Yeah, when War Within comes out, we'll definitely. But yeah. that's wow. Oh. And that's what that's it is. Well, you yeah. know, like we yeah. things go up and down. Like nope. um, hardcore servers are always up and down. And that's kind of how it is. Why are you shaking your head? Because I'm just still, I'm still upset about it. I didn't know it was going to happen. I was interested to see what was going to happen. But... I am going on record and saying it straight up, and I I have I'm not saying this on a whim. Is this an I exclusive? I have watched this. I've watched this throughout all of Sod. I have looked at the numbers. What killed Sod is the ban of GDKP. Watch, Damn. just look at Phase Two. Okay. Phase Two wasn't because of was leveling. It literally dropped in half because that's the way most modern players want to play because they do not want to say, I will come to raid every Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. They want to say, I could make this raid this week. I can make this raid this week and I could do this and I can. Mm, I okay. just. I, it's an endless argument. I'm, I, so why do you I think thought it was an okay thing to try Blizzard at the start, and now I realize, as you do too, it was a big mistake. Why, why do you think I'm they don't just off. do two <laughs> SRs? Okay, well, I'll counter Bob. I think that banning GDAPs was the best thing for the game, and that GDAPs promote the worst culture in all of Classic WoW. I disagree with that. I, I think it. there is a happy medium here, but I, I think that... There's a lot of correlation in Bob's argument that's not causation. And I think that there was the level gap that we saw that would have, with or without GDKPs, I think we would have seen a drop because the level cap went up. Well, and I think every phase we were going to see a drop no matter what. Because yeah. people were going to get mm -hmm. further and further behind. And let's be honest, the population is not just accounts, it's players. And yeah. so... I had two players in phase one. I only had one in phase mm -hmm. two. And that's, that's a lot the of people. Difference. And most people 
not most people. I would say there's a lot of people, though, that had five players in phase one yeah. and had two in phase two. That's the biggest difference is, is in but my I, opinion, in phase one. But I do think super that... Super easy to get into. I think that... So but, here's the thing, is that I think we'll that GDKPs <laughs> were fine. I don't think that they ruined the game. I do think that there are communities in GDKPs, which I think that people have a false perception of that they don't think that there's actual communities that do GDKPs, but I think that there is. Definitely is. Sure. There, it's, is like there, a, it's like a guild. Okay. Is there gold mine involved? Sure. Are you stopping gold mine by doing, by banning GDKPs? No. no. So I don't think that GDKPs ruin sod. I don't think that they, I think that them banning them was, a very good experiment. I do. I, I think that's what I said. That too. there are so many people that felt like GDKPs were the bane of. Do you think it was so many existence. people or the minority? I think there were a lot of people that felt like GDKPs. Like twenty percent. No, I think there was probably fifty plus percent oh, okay. that felt like GDKPs were the problem. I, I disagree, think that but once yeah. they banned them. Mm -hmm. I think that number went down to about 15% is the thing, right? So, like, okay, I think I that, that I was mind. one of the ones that felt like, sure, GDKPs, yeah, ban them. Like, I think that'll promote community. It'll be, like, so cool, right? No, it didn't. <laughs> like, banning GDKPs didn't promote more community, in my opinion, which I think is why they wanted to do it in the first place initially i didn't even think it would cause a problem at all i thought people would just convert to a different way to play but i feel like i'm wrong now people did quit i i used to like gdkps and then they banned them in sod and i learned that i don't like gdkps why like, i like the game better without them why uh, I, GDKPs, like, aside from all the blatant stuff, like promoting RMT and... Yeah, but so much stuff does that. It it promotes you playing outside your, your guild. It promotes you playing with mm -hmm. a certain... And that's fine if you want to do that. You know, but, like, it, it always sucked in phase two or phase three of era or whatever it was when you had a guild member and you gave them loot and they, then got, they gained, got their DKP or their EPGP or their loot council, whatever. And then once they got that, they were like, oh, well, it makes me more gold to do GDKPs. Right. So I'm just going to... I'll go. bring my ult here. Yeah. And you can mitigate that if you have guild rules sure. about it. But then they just quit the guild and they just go do a GDKP yeah. every week. And it's... Okay. I have, I, like, if I could, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I think as a casual, I have a different perspective on this, and I'm going to give an example. Please, <clears throat> Wrath. Okay, mm -hmm. say you are a casual, you don't have a lot of gold. If Winky goes and buys gold, mm -hmm. right? So there's still RMT going on, whatever, and you go buy a tundra amount for 20k. That doesn't affect me. No. If you go buy gold for a GDKP, mm -hmm. and I go to raid in a GDKP, and I need to have 20k to play, mm -hmm. I'm gatekeeped. I can't play. Okay. How yes, do I, how do I go get 20K to yeah. just run one raid yeah. as a buyer? You, you also don't. get... Okay, so this is this is the sad part of it. And and I don't think... And some people may disagree with me. <laughs> there you go. But if... Put some watch open. If... if so I, I think the majority of people are in a guild... But then their alts do GDKPs, or after you've gone to the next raid, they use you use your main all that gear to do GDKP on the last raid, so that you can make money to fuel your alts. At least this is how I did it, and it's how a lot of people mm -hmm. I know did it. Yeah. I don't think GDKP. If you want the best gear. Like for instance, I I did four tunes with with Pummel uh, G D K P Pummel and the people that ran the G D K P they did get the best gear. I knew I would never get the best gear in that G D K P, but I got a lot of gear and I made a lot of money. 
but like that's not what it was like if you if if you just do gd dkps unless you buy gold then you should know that you will never have the best pieces but you're and not that allowed is, in that i'm is just trying to get way, into the raid though i'm not, not worried about the pieces the at this way point. it goes but just, you're not allowed in and i think that is the biggest issue if, if all the pugs are gdkps and you don't because have gold you're not getting gdkps will make yeah. you prove that you have a certain amount of gold to be a buyer well you start or you can out be a carry, the, but if you're not yeah but if you're not a carry you're not a carry the same as other guilds and stuff you start out in the lower gd DKPs and you work your way up. I see that that's so convoluted when you can just like if you want to raid on a Wednesday and you don't, you're a casual and you don't care. Like just if no GDAPs are in within TOS, you open looking for group bulletin board and you find well, a two SR MS over off spec yeah, okay. and you go do that. But yep. that's what I was no okay. barrier of entry. If like that's why right. I'm saying just doing GDKPs is not the way to go because it's never going to happen. The way I got into GDKPs was at the end of Vanilla and at and and during TBC, and it was always my best out main that I got it through my guild doing the raid prior. And I was going in as a carry. You sure. can definitely get in a carry with gear sure. score. Mm -hmm. And then the gold you make, if you want to, now you can make an alt. And sure. that is the stepping stone that GDKP allows. But I'm not even messing with that in Sod because why? So do you think that here's my question first of all that's a huge freaking bug like, like i would like literally do nomer every three days in, inside for the last three months if i made gold doing okay. it and here's, i would oil the shit out of that nomer run so and people would be happy here's my question do you think that but i do nomer do you think that blizzard should try to regulate player Created modes. No, I and I did think I it was a good idea. Like what? Oh, asking you're talking to somebody else. Sorry, sorry. So like, I will walk away, so I will. I will walk away, so I won't talk. What are like two okay. examples of player created modes? Okay, so solo cell phone. Okay. GDKPs. Mm -hmm. Main spec, off spec. Okay. Like, I'm just saying, like, if you're going to regulate GDKPs. Yeah. You're not going to regulate any of the other things because they're apparently not promoting gold buying. Is that, is that think, the excuse? I don't really know why Blizzard didn't, like, want GDKPs in. I think they were just gold testing buying. it. Because didn't they just say it was going to be a test to see how it they panned did. out? And, yeah, 100%. Um, but I think it was because of the out cry that it promoted gold buying it did it did and then in turn gold buying promotes botting and then botting promotes yeah all kinds of inflation but have we and seen a and reduction in that do you feel in gold buying and, and botting yeah i don't know probably not I don't know to be either. Honest. <laughs> um, probably not i think a lot of people just do incursion loops for gold yeah. But I don't know. I don't know what if people are buying gold. I don't know if I haven't even played Sod in a couple yeah. of months. So, like, I'm not sure what the bot landscape looks like or anything like that. But, like, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think that they should have an issue with regulating something that it could even potentially lead to TOS issues. Um, you think you think GDKPs lead to TOS issues? Yeah, for sure. RMT. 100%. Yeah, and huh. they should ban those um, guys because and people want to buy their bis. But yeah. they should ban the they should ban them. That I do that think should they be should on ban them. them. But like I guess I guess the the way I would look at it is like um you don't it's not like Blizzard allows you to type a slur in chat and then just says, well, it's in the game. We're not going to regulate that. Just don't do it. Right. They, they I, have to say like, this is no longer available for you to do because they know people are going to do it anyway. 
But they they have to like at least mi- try to mitigate. All right, I and I know that that's like not even close to no. what they're doing with no. GDAPs. But it's like the only example I could come up with where yeah. they step in and like co- like code it away or like include something. Multi boxing was one of them. Yeah, I hated when they banned multi boxing because I Did liked you? to multi box. Oh, I was so I was a happy. Boxer. No, I was so happy. Um, I always but thought I totally understand was it. Absurdly stupid I, and should have never been allowed. I was a multi boxer. So I made all my gold in twenty. 19 and I if you know like that was they they regulated it because it was 100% like unfair gameplay like you right. I was not playing the no, game with other people but like, you like, agree. it was fine yeah I agree it with it they fine. should ban it but I was pissed that they did you yeah know? of course it yeah. was fine in PvE the problem that multiboxing made is it's bullshit in PvP. It wasn't and fine in PvE the, the either. Problem, it was if if you want to go like grind and you pay for those accounts, then you should make no. you should make five times the money. No, the problem right. with multiboxing was that it's an MMO and you're doing you're soloing group okay, content. I'll give you that. I'll give you're you that. making insane gold, and for anyone else to keep up with you, they also have to multibox. But so it's everybody. the real world. You're still only controlling one. So it's the real world. And you're using input broadcasting software, mm-hmm. which but is like also the same shit that box bots use, and you're being detectable I under need, the same thing, and it's like a whole. I need to bring you back though. You talked about GDPs and RMT, and. The truth of the matter Wait, is... Wait, can we say what RMT stands for? Uh, real money real transaction. Real money trading, thank you. Thanks. Real money trading, not training. Oh, it's a trading. Uh, real money trading. I thought it was trading. It, it, it matter. means buying gold. This is not our problem. This is your problem, and Blizzard has an automated system, and I am a Blizzard apologist, and I love what the devs have been doing, but it is not okay that you have an automated system that bans the wrong people, helps the right people not not get banned, and it's not okay. What you need to do is actually have a real customer service. If someone gets banned, they should be able to call a real person and talk to them. Wow, weird. Yeah, that's what should happen. That's the problem. It is not GDKPs. It is Blizzard's problem. Ban people who buy gold and let GDKPs live free. That's how I feel, <laughs> and I'm getting so well, emotional a, right now. It's a problem. It's intense. It, it, banning the it's people their, that buy gold it's is their a problem. problem. It's their problem, not ours. Banning them? Okay. No, it like, yeah, they need to deal with that. And we should be able to do GDKPs. It is yeah. literally the best system I mean, in WoW if they ban gold buyers. In, in a perfect vacuum, yeah, GDKP yeah. would be dope. Correct. But it will sure. never be. But let them hire a hundred more people to to watch. They're not going to hire a hundred people. Then, then How then are they going to fund oh, hold that? Hold on, hold on. I actually have the problem here. It's because they're based in Irvine. No, if, no, no. If they Here's were the in Kansas City, they could hire a hundred more people <laughs> no. for one sixth of yeah. the cost here's because the of cost of is living. Can- I'm serious, actually. No, okay, you- here's what would happen. They hire like they could stop. Dude, listen. This would be a remote job. They anyway, hire a hundred they hire a hundred people to ban the fucking gold buyers, and what happens is they lose money. Yes. Because on both ends. They Eliminate so bots you're, and they so eliminate you're subs the, you're and they the, uh, eliminate people buying gold. You're on the blizzard is in on the bots. I thing. am not. See, I'm more selfish. I am not. If it affects the, me, I care. I mean, no. you could be right. I don't know that. No, that's true. I'm not. That's on a them. Definitely a conspiracy I do theory. not think they're conspiring with the fucking bots. No. I think that they are also a business and that mm-hmm. they also have to think about, like, if I make this decision. And I just got purchased by Microsoft, okay? I mean, and if I make this decision, right. all of a sudden my revenue goes down by a like 10%, portion. 20%, 40%. Like yeah. my revenue goes down and guess what? We don't get Classic Plus. We don't yeah. get SOD. We right. don't get any of the things that we want. So are you saying the token in, in SOD? No. No. Okay. The, what do you? What's no, the just, solution? No GDKPs. No, I did not say that. 
Okay, <laughs> if that's what you like, okay, but I, I, I think, think that's crazy. Commitment there. I think like, they bring G, back GDKPs. Like, I think G they bring back literally killed. So. I think <laughs> they bring back GDKPs, and I think the only reason I say that is for ults. That, then think, you guys can start giving some of your gold to some of the other players. Sure, I will give some of my gold. But that's but what I I'm saying. GDKPs so, well, should you know. never be your main way to get gear. The main way to get gear is to join the guild that that is doing what and you want to do. And don't be a do. jerk and, and freaking leave. should be a side But if there's hustle. half the amount of guilds available yeah. to join, then you mm-hmm. not everyone can join one. Um, think, think about a player pool. If you got it, a player pool of 100 players and 50, 90 of them right now are in guilds because there's no GDKPs, and then you add them back into the game, now you have 50 and 50, there's not enough guilds to go around for well, me to get I, my first one up. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a prop that that's just, dude, I run a raid now and I never thought I would. And I ran a raid because we had like six real life friends we were playing with. And now two of them are left and I'm still running the fucking raid. To be honest. And I old, and I literally said, I will never do this. But I was like, oh man, it's so cool that all my... Some real life friends came back. I'm gonna. I mean, that's I'm a good feeling. Gonna I love, talk to I love I know. and I'm gonna start a raid, and I'm gonna run my own my raid. Nephew's playing. And then I ended yeah. up running He's 11. Your, your raid too yeah. in <laughs> phase one and two of the beer league. Here's the thing. And Here's then the thing. all of a sudden now I'm like, well now I have 20 people that count on me, and yeah. only two people in the raid are the reasons I started a raid. So here's yeah. the thing. Here is so I feel like start this. Raids. I feel like this is what they need to do to bring people back. Because one of the biggest barriers to entry, if it's not leveling, because I do think leveling is a barrier to entry, right? But if it's not leveling, Well, they did 150 and then 50. Okay. If it's not le- it doesn't matter. It's still a grind. Yeah. No matter, like, you have 200% leveling. Like, it's still a grind. But if it's not leveling, I think it is... The fact that you don't know somebody mm-hmm. that already plays, and you don't have a guild. Well, so what and you I do think, no, is you answer my call. And let me finish. In when we have two people that we don't have okay. to do, or not, you answer my call and then you join Swamp. Like the like pretty much okay. Like twenty five so people. What I'm saying is Swamp. Or just is punks. that I think that. What they could do to mm-hmm. bring people to phase four, which is what we were asking for, right? We want people to come back for phase four. We want new people to come in in phase four. I think what needs to happen is there needs to be some way to freaking like recruit or apply or freaking, I don't know. I have the answer, RDF. Like, All right. No, I'm saying for a guild, I'm kidding. Yeah. not I, for a raid, yeah. for a guild. Nobody and I uses that, this. I'm going to give you can a Can I bunch. please just finish? Okay, there's already systems on WoW, on WoWhead and Warcraft logs, but go ahead. We're talking about the game. Yeah. And when somebody enters guild. the game, they don't know everything about WoWhead. They don't know everything well, about all these so external Blizzard sources. So what I'm saying is... Is well, that there needs to be something in the game that allows you to apply for guilds. So Blizzard could do this on the launcher. Wowhead has a guild recruitment system and they could nope. leak you to it. I think it. there needs Warcraft to be something Logs in games. Has, well, okay. So all right. I mean, yeah, that would be cool too. Let's look at let's okay. Can I can I ask you to define we're talking about a brand new player coming to play yep. well. And and your goal is player retention, or is it? I'm saying a brand new player coming to WoW. Yeah, they level up to sixty. Yes. And then what? Okay, so okay, I want to stop you there, and I want to rewind a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Think about the first time you played WoW. So that's hard because I've always played with Bobby. Okay, so she got kind of so like I've never, along. I've never played on my own. Okay, so I do have a different so perspective. I I think, and I, I could be wrong. I could be way wrong. I don't know. You think but it needs to happen earlier? No, I don't think it needs to happen. And I think the really? reason is because when we as veteran WoW players think of playing mm-hmm. WoW, we think of what can they do to these raids to make the game more 
less of a barrier of entry or, or how can we get people sure. into guilds faster and easier? And I think Blizzard even took that perception as expansions went on and they right. made things like looking yeah. for guild and, you know. Is there a looking for guild? Let's be real. The first time I played WoW, I wasn't thinking about raids. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about guilds. I was thinking about how I was thinking about how I was a night elf in a forest doing this cool <laughs> quest and like running around taming Fair. a hunter pet. And I was like, oh, there's an owl. I want to get that as can mm-hmm. I get that as a oh a dragon? Can I oh I can't tame that? Like that was what retained sure. me as a player. And then eventually the more time you spend in the world. In the world, the more you start realizing, oh, there's a world chat. Oh, there's yeah. people. What are guilds? And then like, you start typing and... I get that a, first group quest. And yeah, and as a community, the player base needs to not... They need to stop gatekeeping and shaming new players for asking questions in Baron Chat. Like, hey, where's this quest? People are like, F- don't... Google let me it. Google that for you. And it's like, dude, just like, guys, let's let's welcome new people. And yeah. Like, but, but I really don't think that a player retention policy of, of like... I don't think there's an answer for it. If you don't if the game's like, good. yeah, if you play the game and you enjoy leveling and, and especially season of discovery, because it's like, if you're brand new, you don't know that these runes are a new and thing. You just think that there's yeah. stuff to find and it's cool and fun. Right. Yeah. I think the hardest part That's is when you what? find a new customer, if you're blizzard, if you find a new customer, the hardest thing is to explain to them that there's five ways to play the game. And then once you've explained that, and then there's actually 25 ways as in, of those five ways. Yeah, to and then the as a new customer, how do you even get people to know that sods on the launcher? Like it's yeah, you've got retail and classic, so it's like okay, there's a retail launcher, there's a cataclysm launcher. You have to click the realm button and go to season of discovery, yeah, true. or you have to click it and go to classic era. There's no. There's no like broadcasted way That's of fair. like. There's no desktop. Double click this to enter sod. We yeah. do, have and you can make them, but like, yeah, we do have That's a, a good point. We do yeah. have a good amount of people in 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 our raid group that are they literally started in 2019, but I think you're on to something here. You're exactly right to put it on the launcher. Like getting in a guild and that blah, a, blah. like a, it, yeah. it could overwhelm a new player. That's why I was saying, like, I feel like right now, all runes that aren't phase four should just be boom, put on everybody just be, just because of getting new players in. But it is weird because there is a lot of people gate gatekeeping. But I'm telling you, I have. Like we have this guy, uh, pig. Uh, his name's all weird. Pig scrubble luff of the luff, but it starts with pig, mm-hmm. and he's a shaman, and he was one of the first people that I had to pug, uh, be like be like, and this was back in Nober when we just had ten, like, and I had to pug, you know, one or two people every time, and they would come in and they would enjoy the fact that we explained the raids. And we we weren't just like, come on, guys, come on, guys. Like, yeah. and we explained the raids, yeah. and he was like, he's still with us now. He never talks in voice, but he's there every week, signs up every week. And like, I've recruited so many of those people. And I think maybe you're right. Maybe I'm an outlier. Like, but I just look to see if. Like I do, I do Warcraft log check when I'm getting pugs because I feel like that's the fair thing to do to people. And then if I see they haven't done anything, like they're like new, I just quiz them a little bit. Like if it's a a warlock, I'm like, hey man, what's your first cast when we pull a boss? And I'm waiting for the warlock to tell me. If he's really cool, he'll be like, well, is it caster heavy or is it melee heavy? But what I'm waiting for him to say is Curse of Wreck. And then I'm like, boom, you are you are in. We're, we're, we're going to see how you fare, right? Like maybe he gets cut, maybe he doesn't, her, whatever. But you shouldn't gatekeep. Like maybe that's just the problem of people just thinking that they should 99 parse all, all the time. And that's the problem with the community as a whole, but 
I have recruited so many good people to Swamp. And when I checked their parse before they were with us, it was like 60s. But they had done all the bosses, right? I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. And then they do a raid with, with our raid and boom, 82, right? And then they keep moving up and maybe the rest of the community is stuck in this, like I'm watching Sarth and Jordy and everybody else and I should be doing 99s and that is not achievable unless you want to join one of their guilds. Well, well, I think you're <laughs> talking about a minority of players that watch streams. Yeah. And, and like I'm, maybe. I'm talking about like first maybe. time players that are creating level one. They're not even at 60. Like they're like new players. It's a commercial minute. somewhere. It's yeah. what's this? Their keyboard turning around, you know, <laughs> they heard, heard a world of Warcraft, but they've been playing old school runescape for 20 years or whatever. Like whatever. Key right? Keyboard turning runescape. I've never played it. Me well, neither. that's when you link them videos to help them. Well, it's Have just, you played if RuneScape? they're typing in the world chat, uh, no, you know, or whatever. If you see RuneScape. someone running mindlessly around and they come up and ask you a question, like that's the cool part of MMOs. Listen, oh, we're all too busy. How though. many times yeah. have you seen somebody keyboard churn and not said anything? Well, I usually report them for botting. No. <laughs> Mel, 